Like the first day I went to school, I experienced racism off the rip. Um, I said I was hot because like well, the school well, uniform was. Welcome to Texas. Yeah. No, I said I, I, no. And the crazy thing was, I moved to Chicago first. Oh, Chicago. Oh, oh that's still. Yes, but I was hot in the classroom, and my teacher was like, "You're from Africa. You have no reason to be hot." Hey. I was like, "God." But but did you feel that? Did you understand that at that time? At Were that you... time, I was just like, like what, "What does, does that, that mean?" Yeah, Welcome to another episode of Jackpot Chronicles. Uh, I've got I've got special special people in the house. Really? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I'm your host Oladi Pukwadi Boali. Uh, we have here Mayawa Mayawa Balogu, aka uh, Swag Daddy. Mayawa is in Nigeria live, live and direct, live my and country, direct. My wife is here with his friend, who is also our co-host for today. Not my girlfriend, guys. <laughs> Please, oh I'm begging. <laughs> That was the first I question I asked. Because, because you, me, I guess you, what? Reach out to me. I'm still open for My wife is here with Ayomide. Um, yes. Yomi for short. Um, yes, Yomi, you want to introduce yourself? Tell us what you do since since you're our special guest today. Oh, my wow. I feel like you put me on the spot. Should I ask my wife? What does he do? My wife is a friend of the family. I just I, I just do what I do. I'm a Yahoo boy. I'm going to cut down. <laughs> Um, so your what do you do? But yeah. yeah, my name is Ayomide Damoleko and I'm currently in my final year of university. Um, mm. I work in communications and public relations at uh, the moment. All right, all right. Tell us, wait, wait, what university? I mean, that's the point of Jack Bakro. Like, that's why you're here. <laughs> um, Texas Tech University. That's his alumni. I didn't graduate from there. I'm yeah. not an alumni. I didn't graduate. <laughs> well, I'm going to get to that I dropped today. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to that today. I did not graduate. Today's episode is going to be fun, guys. Yes. Um, Maya, you want to tell us about yourself before I Um, before Yes, I my name is Maya Wabalagun. I'm a recycler. That's all I do. Um, that's I think you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, I guess I'm going to be. I, I do that, that yeah. rec- entrepreneur. <laughs> you tell them what I do. I, 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 you know, all right, them. all right. So like my my wife and I go way back. To Very long time, almost twenty years plus now. Right? This is what year? I mean, I mean that twenty old. something. Yet. That is crazy. We, should, we shouldn't say that, right? Wow. My wife and I went second school together. So it's twenty years. Over sure. twenty years. We're old. So that's over no, ten years. Old twenty nine. <laughs> it is twenty years. That's so crazy. Um. <laughs> so yeah, my wife went to you, so so. I mean, give us an idea. I mean, I I know you went to the US first, like you said. Then yeah. You so left to Canada. So. So I went to the U.S. first, mm-hmm. to Florida. I got yeah. suspended there. I guess we'll get to that story <laughs> later. Um, wow. And then I went to community college for a year, mm-hmm. get my grades back up. Yeah. And then I went back to Texas Tech. That's when I went to school, which is going now. Yeah. I did not finish there. Mm-hmm. I dropped out, finally. And then I moved to Canada. Yeah. Long story. And then I went back to school eventually. Windsor, right? Yeah, yeah the University of Windsor. <laughs> so I've been to four different. Uh, I was at four different schools. No, you didn't just do Windsor now. You know what I'm saying? So, so after Windsor, you did Humber, I did Humber business, College, yes, and now you're in LBS. I'm, oh, wow. I'm about to get my fourth degree now, which is crazy. <laughs> my for wife. a guy who didn't want to go to school. Yeah. Yeah, so. My wife yeah. has always been a troublemaker. And he, I mean, he's it. tall now. He really always used to be tall. He's I'm always tall for my height, for my age. Well, I, I, that's debatable. Um, <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always tall for my weight. But my, I mean, I, I right. feel I feel outnumbered. Yes. I don't know if I should begin to brag about my certifications, but yeah, he's, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, I'm a graduate. Guy. I mean, <laughs> Mister Lipa, do you have a master's? Um, I have a post grad. Close I enough. Have a couple of, I have a couple of. Post- well, post- 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 about that. I think I, I I did education and I'm currently doing public leadership. Oh wow! I wow. wear um the SPPG School of Policy, Politics, and Governance. Yeah, that is that is how those um. It's a new school. Uh, it's is the it third like year. Nigeria? Um, yes, it's actually, really? and it's supposed to be like a Pan African University. Where? Um, it's online, really. Um, mm-hmm. It's um, Dr. Obi's Fixed Politics, the NGO. Um, Dr. Uh-huh. Obi and a couple of um, people. Do you feel like a lot of politicians should go there? Yeah, I think a program at least. Yeah, I, I mean the, the reality is that, and I hope nobody, I hope my dean doesn't see this. <laughs> the reality is that when I'm in class, though, I I do feel like you can do a lot of teaching, but you can't change someone's life. Mm, what do you mean by that? So, like, I know you. Like I know you, I know your, I know what what you do for fun. I know, sure. but I also know your heart. I know you're a sure. giver. Mm-hmm. You can't change people who already like their heart is about stealing, being wicked, you know, being greedy and all that, being cultural, tribalistic and all that. So when I'm in class, I see I see the behaviors. I'm like, yes, we're going to learn, mm-hmm. but I, I fear that you you really may not be able to change someone's heart. Yes, I have a lot of theories on that. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> but isn't well, it right. worse not to try? Right. Yeah, and that's 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 why I love that I'm there. Um, you hope that. So, for instance, some very fantastic people have come to our class. I mean, we've had um, um, the former president, um, Ulusha Gumbasanjo. 
We've had a couple of um, gubernatorial candidates, House of Assembly, House of Rebecca candidates. I mean, Dr. Obi. Don't know, don't know many year ones. Or... No, I mean, so no, some really nice people. Uh, people even doing really good ones. work. Yes, right. and more will still come. Even some tech like your guys are, are young guys some are you know fintech guys because it's really it talks not just it's not just politics or right. leadership it, they go into it like we're currently doing economics and i mean i know math but it's really boring right you mm-hmm. know so it, it really does prepare you mm-hmm. but i'm saying that my own concern um is just that i can't change like who the person is yeah like i can't change you when you have access to 200 billion dollars hmm. I think no, the system. It's, can, it's not your responsibility. I think, I, I think you probably want to address is the systems that we put in place. Yes. I think I, I, yes. Anybody who add will, will react and act a certain way based on what the, uh, what the system. Yes. Of the yes exactly. Um, and so the school will do that. I hope that some of us will get into those spaces and actually change the system and all that. But I that's really just my own concern. Mm-hmm. I think that's a valid concern. So, so, right? a fair point, I mean, yeah. you, you schooled in the US. You I lived in the US. I've done so many schooling. So I know. Seen, you see yes. how the system, even in the SUGs in the universities, like mm-hmm. you see how it's politics. It's politics everywhere. It's oh, yeah. really bloody, you know. So, um, yeah. All right. So today we're talking about mental health. Um, in what respect? I feel, I feel like people just say mental health and it's just like a thing. I like just say like, what are we talking? I mean, so this, is, this, is, is, Jap- this is Japa Chronicles, okay. right? And so effectively, we're going to be talking about um, the whole idea of going abroad. It's really immigration, right? Yes. Right. And when we started, I, I told people that one of the reasons why I started this is that immigration is really part of who we are. You're a perfect example of someone who schooled here. I have a question for you very quickly. Because yeah? <laughs> you have a business tied to immigration. Yes. Right. So, okay, go on. Go on. We'll get to, we'll get to why <laughs> I'm asking you this Yeah. So, I mean, the idea is everybody would go either for holidays, sure. relocation, school, and all that. And mm-hmm. that, that back and forth is part of, you know, who we are. She's mm-hmm. still in school. We don't know if she's going to come back here. Maybe she falls in love. She marries here and she stays here. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. she stays in the U.S., you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, immigration is part of what we, you know, who we are at, as humans, right? Yes. And I think with all these whole trends of mental health and all that, I, I'm mm-hmm. always curious, what has it been like? I mean, you have, I mean, you spent the last 15 years abroad. What's that? What's the mental health angle? of being in a foreign land, particularly as a black man, mm-hmm. and coming with your own culture. Yeah, I feel like people ask me this question. I was just on a podcast, not on a, not a podcast, on a radio show, TV okay. show, Silver Bear or something, mm-hmm. last year. It's about the same topic. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, and the reason I'm moving back to Nigeria now, where there are many reasons why, mm-hmm. is my country. But um, the main thing about it for me is, when there's no place like home, yeah, I feel like it's hard to, to explain that to people. You can't actually explain um, that. <laughs> Feels like, it's so like when I, so when I moved to America, you. right? Mm-hmm. For one, I already had my, so my cousin. You want to tell moved. them your age when so that people also understand the context yeah, I was 16. of where you went. I was 16. I just, exactly. I just finished boarding school in Nigeria. I think you did A levels here. No. Well, well, okay, you barely Not did. Really. So, oh, so, you, so what happened was, really I, like I, was already, I was I was already, <laughs> so me, my, I was always going to go to America to go to school. Okay. All right. So I, my, my family had been, my, not my family, my cousins had been there already. Mm-hmm. Um, I started doing my SAT exams, yeah. like training in GS3. Yeah. So I was already. Going by SS2, I already got in my. I know my SATs had passed. Uh-huh. I got admission to my to two schools in America. Okay, at SS2. Awesome. So, instead, I was just chilling. I was ready. I was ready to go to school where I was going to go to school. Uh, should we talk about uh, your wife episode then? Because sure, there's, there's, a, there's an ongoing so, so, on this podcast. So, about yes, how so, so my mom, <laughs> so my mom made me do every exam. So, I did Ron, Convenant. Wow, I did GC after all school. GC, um, I did Cambridge, I did jam, everything. all that stuff, right? Jam. What, was she threatening you? Maybe if you didn't, no, pass, my mom is just. So, but, but I know mom, see, mom, see, mom, see would do anything for your education. So when I was going to high school as well, the same thing happened. I did come in and try to examine like 10 schools. My mom was just always like, you have to have options just in case you want to change your mind. So, she just made me. So I used to leave school every, yeah. I used to leave school every mm-hmm. like other week to go and do an exam, yeah. right? Um, and so when I finished in, in CRC, mm-hmm. I told her, listen, you've been putting me through Wahala. <laughs> I need six months off. I don't want to go so to school what we, in July. what we popularly call a gap year. You know, you take so just six yeah. months. So, yeah. so because yeah. in the US, you can go to school either in July or in January. Yeah. Sorry, September or January, yeah. right? So I said, I don't want to go in September. I want to go, actually, August, because it's, I finished school in July. Yeah, I'm, so going, summer, I'm going to start like yes. a month later. I'm like, August, yes. give me um, a couple of months. Let me go in January. She said, okay, that's cool. I thought it would be a good idea. She put me to her shit, man. She, I took guitar lessons that summer, <laughs> swimming lessons, <laughs> piano lessons, A level lessons. Wait, is that how you got into music? No, no. I'll okay, get, we'll get I we'll guess get. I don't know if that's. that's we'll get it maybe. But yeah, so she made me like, oh, you're home. You can't like, be lazy. Like, oh, you like, if you're like, born, like, people who leave school, people who leave the cycle of schooling, mm-hmm. has an idea that if you leave the cycle of schooling, your brain begins to, 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 to go out of it. So you stay active. You stay engaged. So she was like, nah. Yeah, home six months though you must be active. But it's true though. Right? So yeah. it's a fair point. And she, I feel like so let's reverse back to a second. Mm-hmm. When I was doing those exams, coming out run, mm-hmm. and I, I told her that I don't want to go to school immediately. Yeah. 
She was timing me to go to Covenant for one semester. I know in my mind. <laughs> she, didn't, she never told me. I was her now. <laughs> but she was so happy about Covenant. She was like, oh, Covenant. Yeah. So, I, so when I went to Covenant, I, I didn't wear everybody. Wears, wears but you're already in the rebellious phase, though, because at that time, Covenant I, I, was. I've like never been really... rebellious. But I think I have been. So no, I'll, I'll explain why. Explain. No, I'll explain why I say this. How long have you known my wife? Listen, listen. We've been married twenty years. No, listen, I'll explain why I say this. Okay. I've never felt like I'm a rebellious person, right? I uh, just feel like. But not be you tell. So no, no. That's what I'm okay. saying. So I come over. I can see why people would think I'm rebellious. Okay. I can get it because, like, for example, we had oh, okay. laws where we couldn't uh, wear colored underwear. And my wife would wear colored. We couldn't yeah. wear. Don't, don't bring. Have don't, we, don't bring contraband. Yes, we couldn't have body spray. That's why we Why were they concerned As, about your underwear? So we're gonna, oh, no, so, no, we, can, we can't go into that in this pod no, because no, no, we don't take our. We went to a Christian secondary school it's, and it's they were. I went to a Christian secondary school. No, listen. No, no, we, we no. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. We didn't. went to a Christian <laughs> school. No, it's good. It's good that you're asking I that did. question. You, you know, when we start mental health from CRC, we will not leave yet. It's good that you ask the question because I'm saying it didn't make sense to me at a young age. Like, why can't we? Why can't we have body spray? Mm. It must be roll on. Like literally, body spray was illegal in my school. You had to be roll on. So Eunice is Gen Z. Oh, Eunice can Eunice right. can't get what we're talking about. The body spray was because of was asthma. Because, exactly. Yeah, but like again, did you, did you go to Seattle though? No, no, no. No, I went okay, to secondary sure. school somewhere else. So it's like all these laws didn't make sense to me. So yeah. if like they don't make sense to me, why should we follow them? Yeah, because you're mm. rebellious. Right? So let's and move. So on. you become rebellious. Mom, see, thought, yeah. mom see, so anyway, so mom covenant, covenant, likely one day. We need to find out. We need to find out that. So, oh, this, <laughs> and once you enter that one semester, you're not leaving for everybody four years. Yes. For yeah. So me, I wore jeans. So you think they don't already uh, bag, they don't come you to you. Biggest bag your hat. I wore it. <laughs> biggest t-shirt. But I went there. They must still follow you? No. Uh, and apparently they make you like recite Bible verses and stuff. I remember, I think I... <laughs> And I and I knew the Bible verse that they, 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 they ask you about questions about the Bible verse. I knew them, but I didn't answer. Interview. I just, yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. for the school. Uh, it's the whole now you write an exam. Then I don't know how they do it now, but you write an exam and then you go for an interview. What then you, even the parents go for sort of like an interview. Muslim, interview you, won't, you, won't, you, won't, you won't pass if you are a Muslim. Maybe, no, maybe no, 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 no. Covenant, no. Papa always, no. They're playing the Muslims. That's not, he doesn't right. do that. I just know that when I went there, first of all, I was all one out because I was the only one that didn't wear like a yeah. tie. I remember so that. I, I, just to say I remember Odele and I went together and Odele was wearing this thing. The, oh, man. Went, Spaghetti. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't kill me. No. <laughs> pencil skirts. That was the first yes. time I knew what pencil skirt was. Huh. Because you had to wear corporate, corporate. Like, ah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, like, you were serious. I was like, I can't go to an advanced convert. And I just knew that. I cannot get, I will send my children to Covenant. not. Not, I'm not advertising for them. No, but good, I understand that may what they do. The next there are good things why you can go there. Like it's yeah, a good school. Good, very good it's good things. networking. I mean, Isaac is from Covenant, right? Right. A lot of people we know. So um, we can't yeah, tell. Yeah. But well. anyway, I just didn't want any chances to be taken, so yeah. I, 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 I purposely failed the exam. Oh, you. Pa- oh, you ah, I think I made purposely. It he purposely. Did. And yeah, because if you don't pass the exam, you can't go to the interview. Like it's standard. It's no, no, computer. No, no, so I passed the exam, but I didn't like you interview. The interview I failed, and I obviously dressed the wrong way. So they didn't, they didn't admit me. And those people are judgment right. at the moment. This, I know. This is what now, 15, 16 years ago. So I don't yeah. think we, we can't judge them. But and I had um, I can't and forget, I had like, a lot of friends that were there right at the time. Yeah. So I mean, they had me all these stories I, like you get expelled <sighs> for having porn on your computer. <laughs> You, you, can't you, can't go, you can't go out on maybe two, three times. Like, so, listen, but things have, Papa's really done. They would have expelled me first week. Okay, so <laughs> I just don't subscribe to stuff like that. So, so you, six months, you took the break. Yes, I took the break. And then I went to the US. So I should ask you. My story is why, because my own mental health was. Yeah, was so it? I can tell you another story. Okay. I don't know how much time we have here. Um, <laughs> so when I was going to school, so they yeah. go to school in Texas. I usually eventually went. Mm-hmm. Family, I have a lot of family there. Yeah. Right. And I went to school in Florida. That's so when Miami. I went to school, my mom asked me, not my not Miami-ish. Okay. When I was going to school, when I was growing up, my mom asked me, what do you want to be? And they asked me periodically, maybe every year, every two years. I think it's CRC. So I was every, every, I more, every term. Yeah, time. engineering. Yeah. yeah. I just engineering. I wanted to do, you know, work on planes, uh-huh. work for Boeing or Airbus, yeah. make planes, whatever. I had this idea and it wasn't real with my lifestyle yeah, but... truly it's just a thing that we just had rebellious I'm not lifestyle. sure why yeah. I paid because I, I was more, I'm more like my mom my mom is very business oriented entrepreneur mm-hmm. and that's my thing right that's what comes mm-hmm. naturally to me right. I should have just recognized that early just mm. for my idea we're all young in high school we, we, they make us pick from SS1 yeah. science class science right? class I mean, I was, which is be- which and I was <laughs> I like math don't get me wrong I like yeah. math I, was, I, I, I like TD right? yeah. so once you go from SS1 to technical class you can't go school, back you're, you're, you're going to be science, like yeah, that's what you're going to do. You, you have to do something in science. You need for the maths, TD, all that, all that good stuff, right? So that was my. I kind of was bugged into that already, by my choice at the time I was young. So my mom was like, "Okay, what's the best school for this degree?" Because oh, my, my mom is very like, as you can tell already. No, I mean, mm-hmm. she's very, she's very, she's very practical. Just like you, go to Google, check the best school <laughs> in the world for this specific degree that you're doing. 
So by the time I was in SS1, I already knew that I was going to go to this school because it was the best school. What school though? It's called Embraer Radio Aeronautical University. Oh, G-R-A-U. It's, so I will get to the school in a second. <laughs> so when I was, so my dad is like, nah, like if you go to, you go to America, whatever school he goes to, he should be okay. Uh-huh. My mom was like, nah, he gotta go to the best one. Like, he, my, my, my mom gave me the best she could give me. Shout out to our moms, son. man. Our moms, yes, are, our moms, our moms, our moms will do but anything like, listen, for us. The guy goes to Texas, his cousins went there, uh-huh. they are doing well. So like, let him do those, let those be in Texas. Like, yeah, they say, yeah. People have gone before. Yeah. Right. They know how to navigate through. Mm-hmm. His uncles are there. Yeah. It will be easy. You know, he probably be living at home. He'll, he'll go out of, uh, yeah. out of himself. Yeah. You know, he'll be in friends negatively. Because like, people can, can control him and guide him there. Mm-hmm. My mom was like, nah, you got to go to the best one. Mm-hmm. Right? So this was a thing that was already born in my family. And he used to come to me because my dad is very open. He's like, I don't want you to go there. I think you're going to fail. Mm. Da, 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 da. But your mom wants you to go there. And that's what it's going to be. Right. So when I was going to school, actually, my dad took me to school. And we stopped in Germany and France, and he's telling all his friends, like, I don't want him to go. I don't want my son is open. He's, he's, he's been in the army, so he's yeah. very mm-hmm. open. Tell you how he feels all the time. So he's telling everybody, like, my son is going to go to this school. I don't think he should be there. I think gonna, <laughs> she's going to struggle with it. I wish she'd go to Texas. Yeah. He's telling me. I said, I'm already. So even in your mind, like, I'm already angry with everybody. I'm like, I'm going to prove them wrong. Mm. <laughs> and I would defend my mother's home up because she's so <laughs> wants me to go to this school. So are you mommy's boy then? Yeah, I am mommy's boy. We look mm. alike. We are very, we are very Yeah, close. I know. I mean, I know that, um, but she like. She's married to me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure but, she's very good to call you in, oh, yeah. in this session. Probably yeah. At some point. She has messaged me already. I'm sure on WhatsApp. Okay. So anyway, so. So you arrived there in January? So I go to school, Florida. And my dad was not, I'm not gonna lie, he was right. Um, because I go to I go, so first of all, I go to so most schools in America, she would know because she's going to school there. Uh-huh. They're very big, 40,000 people. Mm. Fun. Like it, it's like it's like, a city. Was like <laughs> the engineering department of a school that you go. So it's specifically uh-huh. so my school was had like maybe seven majors. Yeah. All engineering. You gotta be a pilot. Yeah. You're able to be an engineer. Mechanic. You're going to go to space, NASA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was a school specifically for that. Yeah. Right? I think it was thousand people, which is uh-huh. like so it was a very, very small college. Yeah. There was, I think it was the ratio of boys to girls was like, I want to say one to eight. So it was one girl to eight boys. What? So it's not the college experience that you, that you, that you associated with normally. Hmm. Right. So all the parties that you do, well, I know that. But how did you get into, like, what, what was your SAT scores? Was that, if, at the time, so, so if you at got the time, into the school, time was, you, were, you were brilliant now. So what was? I, I was brilliant. And so, I, you know, at the time, I think it was 1650, which was good enough to get oh, in Oh, wow. That's um, really good. Yeah. And I did that when I was 14 or 13, something like that. So, yeah, it was pretty smart. I am still pretty smart, as you can but tell. But you know, Nigerian yeah, yeah. education is so much different. Like if you're like, like a, tough. if you like, if you suck here, like in Nigeria, like the expectation is that. All over there. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, true. that's true. Like, like that's even the bare minimum. I mean, yeah. when we were in school, we were doing like it was that we were doing like sixteen subjects. We, yeah, we, 16. we did. Bro, this is like university Yoruba. Here. So crazy. Like, we did Igbo, Yoruba, and French, right? And Brazilian made us do every oh, single that was, thing. That, you guys didn't do CRK. We did CRK. What did you say? 16, 16 subjects were in junior secondary school. Yeah, yeah. senior we did like 15. I Still, did, I, I think yeah. you left us. Yeah. Like but with this, we, see, in work we did 12 exams. 12, <laughs> 12 subjects. 12. <laughs> my, mom, 12. my principal was not yeah. joking. She was like, you must do everything in your work. You must do Yoruba. <laughs> You must do French, you know, like, no joke. So I can't lie, we're about, better off for it, though. No, 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 I, see, I actually, see, yeah, we are I, better I want to go see Prince. I actually one of the people that you know, impacted see. me the most. Yeah. Especially, and I'll get to the why, mm-hmm. because Prince always told us when we were young, mm-hmm. because she, our principal went to school in America, mm-hmm. she came back to Nigeria to, be, to become principal. So you can see the roots, you can see our roots, so our she Japa was roots. Always, <laughs> always tell us when we were young, because when we were young, you don't like Nigerian things. Yeah. You mm-hmm. want to be American like, yeah. far. I mean, I, I never really had that. I feel like high school, because of peer pressure, people push that on me. Yeah. Like me, I grew up like in a German I didn't like hip hop and R&B yeah. when I was young. When I went to school, they look and say, we are very rare that we need to like. Yeah. But I think in our set, I think we had, in our set, we had like 20 people from out of, out of, out of country. Of people, right? people, a lot yeah. of our classmates, yeah. and they were even older than us. So, so it, was, it, was, it, was, it was cool to be like, it was cool to be hip hop. Yeah, we had a number young, of, yeah. Right? And principal always told us that like, you guys, Nigeria is all you have, like. Uh-huh. We didn't understand that. Anywhere, anywhere you go to go, you whether, it was, whether it was spiritual, she then. said it like she used to see it every, every assembly, time. Like, yeah. When you leave this country, you're going to see that this Nigerian that you have is the one that you have. Right? Yeah. She always told us, and me, I, I just always, always talk with me, right? And so when I go to America, um, first of all, was, you know, the school I went to, everybody was already like, these people know what they want to do. Some of them have been flying since they were eleven, huh. <laughs> because that's, that's they're going towards that lifestyle. So they have their parents' license at like 15, 16. Yeah. and we mm-hmm. competed with them. So I just, I, I didn't really struggle initially. I, get, I don't want to get into why I struggled there. But anyway, first thing, first thing that happens is like, when I went to America was when the new boys, I don't even remember all these artists. Mm-hmm. This is when Skilly's were becoming popular. Multiple colors. Yeah. So that was the thing that everybody was wearing. 
and I tried for a bit. I was like, bro, like, I'm not comfortable wearing all this kit. Like, I like mm. jeans, but like wearing the high that, top. Yeah. Super so that's that's already like influence, right? Yeah. Just seeing what everybody was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I used to feel so like you want to do those things when you're in Nigeria. When you go to, you see that first of all, you can't do the way those guys are doing it. Mm-hmm. Right? So all these shoes that we think we're cool here. So when I was going to, when I was young, for example, Timberlands America, and all. Going to America to buy an issue. Yeah. If you buy an issue for Walmart, I bring it to Nigeria. We are still popular here. Yeah. As long as American yeah. shoes. As long as American cares, right? <laughs> When you go to America. <laughs> If it's not the specific ones, it's not violence. Yeah, you are behind. You one when shoe, like, yeah, you are behind. Yeah, you are behind. Are you, are you, are you okay? But one match you. Yeah. They tease you. So all those things, I was, I was like, no, I, I became a lot more. I was, I always had a Pan-African streak in my body. I'm mm-hmm. not going to lie. When I went to America, I became more Pan-African. Immediately, yeah. like quickly, I just realized that, man, for one, I had white roommates. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't merge with their energy. Yeah, the flow yeah. was in. I didn't. And I, I don't want to get into that one again. First and foremost, <laughs> I would like to say they are the dirtiest people you ever meet. Like white roommates. I'm no. not saying. I'm not saying the, the movies. People. The movies don't lie. <laughs> I had a white roommate, and I was I was looking for silverware. There was no silverware in the apartment. Oh, I went dirty. to her room. Oh, it was molded. Oh, wow. Man, listen. They don't shower. Anyway, I don't want to get into any of those things. What the, the, the main point is, I just wasn't. I didn't feel comfortable. I never, I never felt comfortable. Even how, how many years were you in there? Were you in that school? In that school, that two, years, two years. Oh, okay. um, did you, what, but, I mean, I don't think Florida is racist, but what did you experience? Florida is racist. racist. So, really? <laughs> there's so many stories about that. So, one of the guys, so my first test given, I went to my... So, I met an older guy. He was in the army. Mm-hmm. Army veteran. It's like, he's like... At this time, I was 16. He's like 25 already. Mm-hmm. He has gone to war in Iraq. He comes mm-hmm. back. So, so those guys, they, they're on the, something called the VA beer. Yeah. The government pays their fees. Yeah. After they, after they go to war and come back. So, he's on, this, you know, he's on the VA beer. He's getting free schooling from the government, blah, blah, blah. And he t- takes a liking to us. And back in the day, we say, we say stuff like, oh, I like Nigeria. You guys, you guys from Nigeria are very smart. You guys mm-hmm. are good. You guys are not like the black people here. Mm. When I first, my, my first couple of months, I used to be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not African. I said, I'm not black, I'm African. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's a different thing from yeah. America. If you're, if you're African, people think you're smart. You're, you're yeah. Yeah, they, re- like, yeah, they sort of respect the us. Are like yes, lazy yes. As yeah, yeah. So I, and I used to, and there's another, there's another reason why. So my cousin, right, he has moved to America when he was seven. And I had friends that moved to America when they were 13, 14, 15. And we say stuff like, these get teased in school, being African, whatever, whatever. And it's black people that used to tease them all the time, right? Mm. So there was an anonymity that just builds in your body. Oh, just for, towards black people. Because yeah. it's like, I had to tell me when I go to America for holidays, that, oh, don't, this neighborhood is black people that are there. Like, mm-hmm. be careful here. Just things like that, right? And then, like, black people are teasing us all the time. There's all these cultural wars. Yeah. So I just hate it. I just I won't say I hate it. I just didn't like. Yeah, so that I just, was I just, the biggest want, culture shock. I didn't want to associate myself with black people. Well, that, mm-hmm. and that should have been the contrary because one would think that the people that you have like the closest sort of color, they would look, support that, 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 that should be more. But but also I didn't I didn't judge white people. I just didn't like you like, asking dumb questions about like are you African. So you're like, pretty you much have, your own. Yeah. Do you guys have okay? But the only thing I would like to say about mm-hmm. like that I was bullied when I first like came to like the United States. I had to. I mean, tell us when when was the fire because you went at a young age. So this really? was how, how many um, ages are good? I was 11 when school. I left. Um, really? This is my first time being back in 12 years. Ah, nice. Um, nice, nice, nice. I finished just one and my mom was like, okay, we're all leaving as a family. And when I got there... Well, I, who, was, who, was, who was our president 12 years ago? So maybe that's all. But yeah, do I. Swabby, Swabby. Okay. I was a good president now. He was an amazing president. Was an amazing he president. died quickly. Rest his soul. Yeah. Honestly. He was a good president. I miss The him. most peaceful president yeah. I've ever had. Yeah, I can't forget. I can't forget. Yeah. But why did why did you guys move then? So Because, I mean, what was um, behind that? An opportunity job? Yeah, or? it was an opportunity. We didn't plan it. Um, my mom applied for a visa lottery back then. I think it was good for some people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She played it just like out of boredom. We're like at some um cyber cafe and we just said like, she won. Like they gave us the letter like a, a year later. This lady outside the shop comes and she's so excited. We opened it in front mm-hmm. of her. Um, one huge thing about like leaving at such a young age is that you might not meet the people that you left back. Mm-hmm. The lady that delivered the news that we won the visa lottery, like I got news like she died of cancer, wow. you know, and like that's been like really tough for me because like I was just telling my wife the other day, religion in this country and mm-hmm. mental health. I don't know if they can coexist. <laughs> here's my here's my here's my reason why. I have an autistic, I mean, an autistic cousin, mm-hmm. and I've always known he was autistic. Well, not really. I just knew he was different. Yeah, somebody else, yeah. But to all my family members, they thought he was possessed. Mm-hmm. They've been taking him to like every single like different sh- churches, trying to figure out what's wrong. It wasn't until like they took him to the states that they realized he just learns differently. He's still smart. He's just nonverbal. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know. So many 
it was just a huge culture shock when I went like over there and I'm like so many of the things that we say are bad are not actually that bad it was probably misunderstood it, it's just mostly misunderstood like I wonder how many mad people are walking about and they just have schizophrenia like how many mad people can be treated with medicine and rehabilitation mm, true. but mm. no you know you see them you insult them don't touch me you're mad you know but, but what yeah, was it like an 11 year old you, you probably went to grade what grade, is that grade 8 I got grade, pushed back eight? um when I got to the states because we were like you're too young to be in the class yeah we were always busy we were always like and we are just skipping classes <laughs> Yeah, just this is one. You know I did. Yeah, they pushed me back two grades, and I was still the youngest in my class. Wow. Um, so it was it was a bit <laughs> awkward, and I was always a C student in like secondary school and in there. primary school. But when I got there, I excelled. I was easy. like, I was teacher's pet. It came so easy to me. Like they all liked me, and but like I was really excited to see people that looked like me. Yeah. And it was a huge like surprise when they were like, "Are they lions in Africa?" Yeah, mm. that's what I'm saying. I was like. Mm. But you didn't understand that, I'm sure. Uh, what, what, when did you really begin to understand racism? I Were understand. So, 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 this is not racism. This is just... This just, is just don't yeah. know. They, they just, just don't, don't know. know. It's just, just like know. pure ignorance. And um, like the first day I went to school, I experienced racism off the rip. Um, I said I was hot because like well, the school uniform was... Texas, yeah. No, I said... I, I, <laughs> no, and the crazy thing was I moved to Chicago first. Oh, Chicago? Oh, oh that's still... Cool. I, Yes, mm-hmm. but I was hot in the classroom and my teacher was like, you're from Africa, you have no reason to be hot. Eee. I was like, God. But but did you feel that, did you understand that at that time? At Were that you... time, I was just like, like what, what does that mean? Yeah, that it wasn't until like a couple of years later that I looked up his name. I remember his name. I was like, you actually have to pay for this. You will be dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, just like little, subtle little jokes, subtle and, jokes and like comments, that. Yeah. And then we had like this school email that we, had, we used back in um, middle school. Mm-hmm. And like, I would get like, um, what's it called? People would email me like my classmates, mm-hmm. like, "Oh, go back to Africa. You're black as hell," and they'd be darker mm-hmm. than me. So mm-hmm. I was that really confused me. Um, but I was never like I never retaliated. It was just like a more, I I, I questioned myself one, and I questioned the people around me. But as I got older, I would say maybe like 14, 15, I started to like learn about the history of yeah. America. And it dawned on me that like I would not even have the opportunities to have education here if it weren't for the black Americans that mm-hmm. fought for the right yeah. for me to be here. So, yeah, we're mm-hmm. there and we're enjoying the finer things in life. Yeah. But Someone people died suffered. People for this, suffered, yes. you know, and there's this the stereotypes that we have around black Americans. Mm-hmm. It's to keep them. Yeah, low. Low. Uh, and because it's not true at all. And it's yeah. both ways. And, both, and, that's, yes, and, that's, exactly. and that's the difficult part. Is that it's both ways. Because they have some things that they say. It's like, and, and when you're like me and I guess hurt as well, when you've seen both sides, mm-hmm. it's like, guys, we are, all, we are so similar. It's so crazy. How similar I, I, we are. I wonder how... Um, I wonder how... Just, just, you're just both ignorant. I, I, wonder, I wonder how progressive it would be if people just really listen to each other. Like, you know how Bro. in life we just really talk about... So, you know, ladies always tell us, guys, we don't listen, we don't listen, we don't listen. But the, the reality is that I wonder how much better Nigeria will be if everyone just listened. Bro, I'm telling you, man. And like, you know? but, but even Nigerians, like, even when you think about Nigerians in the, in the US, like, a lot of them voted for Trump. Right? They're anti-immigration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, anti-immigration. Imagine being anti-immigration and you came... Like, but again, to America, now like, on the, some of them came yeah, illegally. Now, yeah, now on <laughs> the, the on the listening side is you, my wife, you're in the US. Yes. I'm your brother or cousin here. Mm. You've been sending me millions of naira sure. every year. Mm. I'm supposed to have built houses for your parents, your siblings, blah, blah, blah. You find out that I chopped all the money. Mm. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I feel like you yeah, see, so there, so there are individual you, problems. Yes. Right. But I. It's always bigger issues. Big, it's always bigger issues we have pe- to think about. People don't think, though. Right. though. I, I think people don't think, though. Nigeria is the way we are because of little reasons. Like, there's a reason Nigerians leave Nigeria and become America, but I think we're the most educated in America. Yeah. Yeah. By I'm a bit successful, right. I think. So from all the stats that they pull out. And I, I hate when, when we do things like, oh, Nigerians are this, bro, it's the system. We just we just born with, like, there's no incentive in Nigeria to do things mm. the right way. Yeah. yeah. There's literally no reason to do yeah. it the right way. Because you're wasting your time. Uh, and yeah. you, and you, the funny thing about the system is that you don't have maybe 12,000 elective offices to like make change in Nigeria. That's the, that's the funny crazy Even if we country. did, the system is so like rigged against us that once you break down another system, there's Someone, another one behind up. it. It, it, it doesn't require, even come it up. Proper planning. It's so yeah. deep, it's, it's, you know? It's, it's, it's the it takes time. It takes I, I, time. I, so like, I got mad because like this is my, I voted for the first time. Yeah, so I, I, saw, election, I saw your Instagram. And you, I was mad because you even your so, PU so for, when we, so when we for voted, guys. So when we voted for the for the OB for the OB election, first of all, a lot of people still didn't come out. 
like my 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 unit had was it was landslide. Eight hundred six eight hundred six people that was supposed to no eight twenty six that was supposed to vote there. Mm-hmm. I think we got seventy four mm-hmm. for Obi. That catch, oh. not for Obi that came out to vote for the presidential elections, right? Yeah. And I think Obi won like fifty something of those votes. But the issue was that, and then by the time it was Jerry's time like to vote for like, the, the governorship come elections, on, man. maybe like people 10 come out. people vote, fifteen people will come out. Like was so, so, so we had I think 15, 15 less people that come out. A lot of them I had met and I knew them and I knew their Instagram and I'm like, why are you not coming out? They had no reason to come out. And a lot of them were disheartening because, well, yeah, because the, it was, like, was stolen the mandate and all that. All for that one, opinion, yeah. like it's not an easy fight. <laughs> you, know, you, go, you, just, you just want election, uh, you come out one time. Again, that's you vote, you know, but you know that's yeah, the problem yeah. with listening. That's the problem with thinking. Is that I don't know. I mean, and that's I mean, education is really what I'm about and all that. Where, where do you think you learned to understand that? Oh, is there's more to it than how I just feel? Do you think it's a privilege? I, I feel like because they're they educated people like me and you who also feel discouraged. So discouragement, I understand. It. I think we are again. This, and this is what I explained to you about. So I have a lot of very interesting theories on life, uh-huh. and people find me all the time. <laughs> so for example, when I Mali was arrested, and I told everybody like this guy, this guy is going to become a superstar. People follow me on Twitter. Oh, is it Yahoo boy? But isn't that just? Like, isn't that just how PR is? How is it Yahoo boy? Yeah. Right. Wait, well, who was arrested? Naramali. Naramali. This is back oh, in, this is 20, 2019, right? Yeah. And I think and just immediately after that, that's actually when we knew him. That's the, that's the reality right. about those yeah. kinds So of I'm things. like, why will a Yahoo boy... I, 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 he probably has one or two legs in the streets. I'm not going to mm-hmm. deny. Mm-hmm. But why will he leave the UK to come and scam people for Naira? The case itself was a stupid case. He wasn't going to fly anyway. He was just going to make the guy more popular. And I told everybody... I'm like, that's what yeah, happened. That's I said, oh, PR is good PR. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know him before then. And, and everybody got mad at me. Yeah. Right. Because it's just like trending, and, and I'm like, who is who? Who? And when I, and when I say things like free lunch puppy, people get mad at me, right? And it sounds it sounds very because Nigerians are very mm. quick to judge ourselves and say, oh, no. what would they say about us? No, not uh, that free hush puppy one. I don't. No, back I'll, that I'll one. get to, I'll get I'll get to why I say things like that. Everybody's like, oh, like if people keep stealing money and people keep scamming, people keep judging us the wrong way. I'm like, it's racism. Nobody stole more money than American people. This year alone, FTX has crashed. The guy stole the money. Yeah, but I mean, I, what I'm saying. you're no, right, but... Listen, no, there's no I, but. But when you say free, guy, when you listen, say free listen, hush puppy, listen, it does seem listen, like you're you are, you are advocating listen, for... the guy stole the money. FTX. Yes. Okay. Of Naira. Two bankers collapsed. Dollars, yes. Three months ago. Yeah. Because hmm. bankers, essentially... They don't have money. money, yeah. This is this is what's going on. The world economy crashed 2008 because bankers stole money. Yeah. This is nobody steals more money. So it does seem, it, more it seems like they 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 then they then they make Nigerians so seem like you guys wake like up one day yeah. they are doing the propaganda for the white people that yeah. oh Americans are thieves. Are you fucking stupid? Nobody steals more money than white people. Yeah. Ever. Nowhere. Benny made of the big all the biggest guys are billionaires. <laughs> they have stolen money in, this, in the world are all white American men. But hush probably did steal money. Now listen, yes, he stole money. So it is what it is. Yeah, but it was great. All I'm saying is I'm not saying he deserves to be locked up for life, but you need to teach him a lesson. Let's see. This, this this is my thing about hush puppy and everybody and if you want to fix face thieves in in Africa you want to, you, you you're really about facing thieves in Nigeria mm-hmm. a lot of people have from their family members you know that's what I'm saying your, your dad is here collecting a gunje <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about hush puppy stealing are you being uh, serious and, and, no, let's talk about so so my wife, my wife, it, it, it does seem controversial but I I I agree with the so, the, the, the line so of so why the bank that <laughs> not I not know, some see, people most banks okay okay now okay I now, mean in my so line of, in my I was, business I was in the club now yeah. Uh, so on Friday, I took her out because I don't go out anymore. I took her out because she wants to turn up. She's young. So <laughs> now the guy is selling 50,000 naira for 70,000 naira. Is he not a thief? Hmm. And him and his cronies. So what are yeah. we? And you want to fight Osh You can't fight that guy. Yeah. And fight the people that are Again, my, sell the, money you know, the question amount. was not everybody has this line of thoughts that you have. So when they see your when they see your hashtag, so it's misunderstood. Say, yes. It's, it's so misunderstood. free him as if I to fight everybody else. That's yeah. What I'm I, I get that. Right? So, so, so maybe you should say it in full. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. And by the way, free him anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. For him, anyway. See, well, those, those people. Because are, those they, they release, they release, because, because they release other people, people for less. It's not, it's not even about that. Like, when they return about, the money and all that. Even about those, than, those, than all the things you're saying. A guy grows up in I don't know a gig motor park. His mm-hmm. dad is a bus driver, maybe at best. Mm-hmm. His mom, a shower, sixteen years old. Mm-hmm. That's his mom. Yeah. Right? He grows up, grows up in that neighborhood. That's mm-hmm. all they know. Yeah. If we ignore this, you know these children from a young age. The country doesn't care about them. When they now try to become, how do how do how do how do how do you yeah. be influenced? Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 but my, I have a con- I no, have a listen, question for you. How do I have a question for same you. Thing, same thing with black people in America. Just let me finish. Yeah. Right. These guys grew up. They never seen a doctor before. Mm-hmm. All they see is, I'll tell you, what they see is people that work hard mm-hmm. and can't pay their bills. Yeah. The guys who are straight and narrow in those black neighborhoods, mm-hmm. three, four jobs, single moms, can't pay their bills. Yeah. They see drug dealers. I mean, people that play basketball and American football. Yeah. Everyone that have the money. Yeah. What will a young child pick? 
You yeah. see your mom that, that that didn't do crime, she's struggling. Uh, but, but, what will you tell them to do? Yeah. So because even some of these, yeah. seen, me, I'll tell you, I struggled with school. I went to school. Mm-hmm. I got my first degree after nine years of going to school. Yeah. 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 Now. yeah. My parents, all I saw when I was growing up was people that were that A's in jam, mm. doctors, engineers, successful people. I still went to struggle. I still struggle to go to school. I didn't want to go to school at all. If I can struggle with school, you expect people that they have no influence to not yeah. to go to the same school and do it and yeah. be straight and narrow citizens. Yeah. So it's a systemic issue. Mm. If the government cannot fight for those people, yeah. anything they do, that's, that's what they will do. They must yeah. survive. Yeah, if me, I was I, I not get rich, that. I would be a thief. You, you, yeah. ah, that's it. <laughs> that's that's, that's Because guess what? And, 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 and it's Nigeria. It's an interesting in Nigeria, line your driver is collecting 50k a month. You tell him to come hmm. from, from the yes, mainland in the morning yes. at 6 a.m. What to do for you? It's carrying your girls every day. You're gonna pick your girl from a hotel. You book her. You use them, you give him money to pay for your girl yeah. to go and sleep in one hotel. Mm. You give him, you, you give money to go and help a girl go shop. You're still paying fifty k. You tell him you carry money, go bank, go put her for bank. At the end of Ghana the month, must go. You pay fifty k. That fifty k, if he comes late, two minutes late, you tell him that you take, you move one k from his money. Yeah. And you, you think you will not be angry, you will not be a thief one day. Or children will not look at him and say, Daddy, you're, not, you're a fool. <laughs> let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, don't take me to this place. Let's, let's, let's say, 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 let's I'm sure he did a lot of good things for other people. But so all these years he used to he used to do giveaways. Oh, yes, they all do. They all do. But Yomi, I, Yomi, I think my was I think my was point uh, and it's an interesting point so right. that we just we segue from this is that um, don't chase the bad guys that you catch when there are bigger bad guys who you just allow you know to see the system the and, and the system really does. These guys, these guys are deserted. All they know is they have to survive. And what, what else would they be doing? The truth of the matter is because we're talking about we're supposed to be talking about mental health rather. But it's my time, the it's truth of the matter is that, like Maya also said, is that you know if you if you grow up in a poor like background or mm-hmm. setup, you only have a couple of choices. If you don't get to go to school, you only have a couple of choices. Which why why um, we say school like school is the place is a street. Well, I mean not way. not just school like university. Would, but one I, of my one of my friends <laughs> right now. Yeah. Private school, not even private school. My yeah. private school in Nigeria. Yeah. Two one. Yeah. It's a smart guy. He's an Uber yeah. driver right now. In Lagos, yeah, and by the way, he makes more money as a number driver than if he was working in the bank. Yeah, so what are we talking about? What, yeah, what, what is good get, people actually yeah. in this country? Well, you, you, you now. get, you get the, the. I understand where we are now, right now. No, listen. If I, if every Nigerian went to school in Nigeria, what work would they be able to do? Hmm. That's the problem. Can, can yeah, we support them with that? And, that's, and yeah. I think that's my last context of what the system. Mm. Is even more still money in this country yes. to survive. That was going on. Yes. And guess what? It's not even them that, that started it. That the government is still money passed. The money we used to come away from Nigeria, they have yeah. stolen it. So we sort of, we sort of have enabled, we sort of have enabled people to sort of, you know, fight and make their own way. Right. Um. I. You know. So one of you know I was talking about my my SPPG program. Mm. Um. One of the cam- candidates for the Enugu election was 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 in my class, mm. and he told us that he, he was in a place for campaign maybe a week before that class, mm. and he was talking to the community it was a poor area and all that and the father of one of the homes he went to said that um you see my family right maybe a family of maybe seven or eight or nine something like that i can't remember now. Is that but i think I'm at least seven right that's, that's, a, problem, that's right? a different issue but the reality <laughs> my wife is that i don't know how old your me is mm. and i don't know how old the girl was but the guy was like you see that my oldest daughter if she no go out for night i know if you chop what and that's facts yes. So guess what? Shout out to them too. They got so, to hustle. So you see, because when you know a lot of times this mental health matter, maybe those things that mental health is is just the whole I'm tired of it. Maybe a toxic mm-hmm. boss. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like the system in itself it's is toxic. It's exhausting. To- like it's, it's exhausting. Do you think these men are shallow to be fucking different men already? Yeah. It's, it's, oh, well, how is your mental <laughs> health? Actually, no. Easy. How is your mental easy. health? No, because initially, initially you're scared. I, I'm assuming from the movies or the, what mm-hmm, I've read. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure she's probably scared. But at some point, you, f- you feel numb. Like, if they I don't do, do this, my family exactly. cannot... Bro, listen. Yeah. You know, no, and that's nobody, a problem. Nobody's born and they say, you know what? I only fuck men for money. Yes. Nobody's yes. born. Nobody, nobody, nobody really has that. Yes. Even the Life ones... Happens. I mean, and that's why you see all these movies. You know, you know, it's all our movies these days that we like, even in Hollywood. <laughs> some some brothel brings out one young girl or one young guy who then aspires to do something very great and all that. Yeah. And that's 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 really that's really where we are. 
Eunice, Eunice has a look. Eunice can't Eunice, stand. please speak. I want, I, want Eunice, I want Eunice to speak. That's the reality. That's the reality that people have to face. I, I, I want Eunice to speak. Um. So, but Yomi, I mean, aside from that, what what other culture shock? But particularly going into university now, you're in, you're in Texas Tech. What what's, what culture shock? Um. Over the last now twelve years, let's assume that the first couple of years you were still sort of very young. Going into the university, what 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 have you experienced? Um. um culture shock. Should we say even racism? Uh, I mean, we're going to talk to you on religion because I know you have opinions on that. But what, 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 mm. what, what have you really experienced? Um, when I f- when I first went into college, I would say I should have waited a year. Like, okay, I went in too quickly. I was already held back. Like, I could have chilled. You know, yeah. I went into college at seventeen, which is a normal age for most people. But I mm, feel that's like even old for us. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. 14, 15, 15, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> but, you went um, seven, what, what what are you studying again? You said media. Yeah, that that was the one I was studying then. Yeah, and that's the beauty of going to the US or Canada. Yeah, right? you, you can do minor, minor. You can just yeah. 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 Ah. It's rigid here, man. No, you can even go mid dean. Ah, what's your CGPA? <laughs> so I want to move to that faculty. You get to that faculty. We don't have space, so. Oh my gosh! Like that's, originally, that's, that's that's what you hear. Yeah, yeah. My, my friend came out to America. What's it called? Yeah, he had to go to Babcock oh. from year two, and he was already like year three and a half. Yeah. Yes. You have to restart, you have to restart from your yeah. team. Yeah. Is that legal? <laughs> that's, that's what you have to do. You come <laughs> to Nigeria, you start from they don't say you don't, don't have space. When you, when you don't have space, what do you want to do? Because if you don't go to Babcock, then maybe you go to like a, I don't know, like all the resident names, like the, a Crawford or like one of these lower, lower schools that are not popular. Maybe what do you mean they don't have school. space? They don't want to make money. The best you can get is your sister. Yeah, so you have, There's you no don't transfer process where you're like, oh, transfer my, oh my God. A lot of people go, even to Babcock, they go in through diploma. You, you, need, you went to Babcock now. Yeah, you have to go through like direct entries to go into 200 level. Oh, wow. So they already took out the 100 level, but they can say they don't have space or maybe extenuating mm-hmm. circumstances. So, what, well, yeah, so you went in 17? Um, yeah, I went in when I was 17 mm-hmm. and um, I started off pre med because my mom. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's an interesting story. Growing up, my mom was a dentist and like I always used to help. Her so you wanted, you wanted to go into the medical line? I really wanted to do a little bit of everything because my dad was a businessman. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I would go to work with my dad and I also go, go to work with my mom. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to like be busy. You know, you know I own a business that does like study abroad, right? This really? is again, this is yeah, this is a that's what that's why Jackpot, that's Jackpot. Yeah, yeah, that's like my Jackpot Limited. That's how we got here. But but the truth of the matter, I'm saying that because when I tell people that when you finish from SS2, SS3. When you have conversations with, you know, what we are supposed to have, like counselors and advisors, yes. they sort of would help you. Yeah. Right. And I, I don't know what your experience was when you were in high school. Is it that you you didn't have anyone to talk to, or you just felt? This if is what I'm I being to honest, do? when I was in high school, mm-hmm. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in college. I just knew I had to go to college. I was mm-hmm. like, there's no, I don't have any other option, and I was like, I don't know. But the point is, when I got to college, um, I was doing pre med, but. I was scared of blood. And I didn't know I was uh, scared of blood. Remember, remember so I those, had to dissect the frog. Remember all those you enter first time. Mm-hmm. Come outside. What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? That was the reason. No. I wanted to be a doctor. But you know what? I couldn't stand blood. I couldn't collect injection. There, there are two schools blood. of thought when you think about it. Like the way we on one hand your parents force you yeah. to do two, three, four minutes. Did, did you feel for, did you feel forced? I was definitely forced. Uh, and that's why but, I had an extra year because they forced me, but I eventually rebelled and did what I wanted to do. But then how do you draw the line? Because if you think about the country yeah. of Nigeria, so there is one of the reasons why Nigeria and the Chinese are so successful in the US is because everybody's been, everybody's an engineer, a doctor. Structure. Right? Or, they, or they know that they need to hustle because no, no, no. we need to listen, work like two listen. times more than, yeah, you know, but, and that's also there, but I'm saying, yeah. we're not doing majors that are, that are, that are, that are just we do the top, we do the, yes, and we must, yeah. and we must be the best. Yes, 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 you're right. That's another thing. And so on one hand, you talk about like Nigeria improving mm-hmm. and we getting professionals and people want to come, to come back and change mm-hmm. Nigeria. Yeah. We need people to focus more on those kind of strong videos. Yes. That's what the truth of the matter. That's the truth. Right. That's right. It's, it's, it's a tough way to say it. Yeah. Uh, but that's what the, that's what the Chinese have done. Yeah. The Chinese have done it. You know what I'm saying? IT. Um, but on the other hand, we had to draw the line and say, okay, well, my, I want my child to be free to express themselves. Yeah. And yeah. do, and do so, what makes them happy. Okay. So Maya, you went from you know the engineering school. You went to Canada. Yes. You went into Windsor. What, what was that experience like? Were your fa- was your family already in Canada? Did you so, already? Make, what was your support I moved to the US system? In 2010. My dad moved to Canada in 2011. He was in the army, retired. Yeah. yeah. Moved to Canada. At the time, I'm like, this man, this man is crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Canada, like me, I, me, I, I was, America was my thing, right? I was do, do my, do my, do my, do my was it? Was it just he did just did he just do it for fun, like holidays or um, like immigration? You I'm guys sure, just I'm moved, sure, I'm moved. sure I spoke to him at the time. Okay. Um, so I, when you go to America, you're 
ideally it's mm-hmm. like okay you go to school there you get a job after you do your paper you find a way you marry mm-hmm. your wife whatever whatever you yeah. find a way there right that's kind of everybody's path yeah so if you want to go to america that's what you want to do and change yeah we knew that uk is at the time uk was not like this now yeah UK, if you go that time, you come back. All my yeah. mates that went to UK, they are back in Nigeria. There's always like a season yeah. of yeah. Yeah. They change. They change it every like seven so, to ten years. Some of them were actually not allowed to to stay, to stay, stay for their graduation. Yeah. Oh, wow. some, some of them yeah. have a friend whose brother because was their graduation will be like months after. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, so, that's so. America was was always the one that was like, okay, they still wait to stay, mm-hmm. right? I wanted to come back, but I was like, at least you want to be able to get the green card or something so you can at least mm, yeah. have yeah. access to America, right? So that was kind of my idea, and my dad is like, oh, he's moving to Canada. I need, I need to, he used to fight us all the time because at the time you don't even know Canada is like a, they, 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 about so it. these immigration policies are just mm. about start they, well they were in place but they were they weren't Canada's popular there, like, yes, yes wasn't popular. it wasn't popular you know, it's UK, so it was UK and US yeah, so it was yes. UK US and yeah. Ireland so, Ireland at a particular Ireland point maybe, was, was, yeah, was so, raining so my dad goes to Canada and he's like oh and he, he went to me my dad and he's crazy my dad is crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, cr- cra- crazy crazy is not insult for people that school abroad <laughs> no, like, yeah, 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 no, it's not like he's like so he looks so like my dad was in the army yeah, 25 I, years I, yeah I know he retires from the army it's like oh he's going to Canada now right mm-hmm. I was like like how do you pick Canada I don't know everything I don't know everything I don't why you, should, you should plug Popsy and tell him you are grateful because he oh, everything he did. That, that, yeah, that, no, I'll tell you why, <laughs> I remember. I'll tell you why my dad is he's a visionary, man. Yeah. So he goes there, he's like, so he gets his work permit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he moves to 2011. My dad yeah. is living like a like a big like a pop out. Mm-hmm. Like, at this point, my parents have become wealthy. They were not always wealthy. Yeah, I know. I mean, right? so, so he went goes, to work. I actually thought he was no, no, immigration. Listen, listen. So you, so now he must become a full time pastor, right? Mm. So he goes to Canada, applies as a pastor to get a work visa as a pastor. Yeah. And supporting the church. My dad was a pastor of his parishes here. Yeah. Throughout my yeah, yeah. growing up. So supporting the church in America, in Canada. And he goes, he's living. Okay, so in, in Canada, the student the student housing in Windsor where I live, mm-hmm. it's not really student housing. It's people have a house. They just rent it out. And they rent it room by room. Yeah. So my dad is renting a room in his house that with other students. Huh. And he's telling all these students that have kids in America. Everybody's like, like, uh, like, yeah, like, what's what's really? Yeah. No, no, no. This guy, 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 this yeah, it seems like he's he seems below. And, I mean, that's another below. thing about Nigeria. So, so when we jump out, we're so humble oh, in most bless. cases. We just relax. So my dad went through all that whole thing, like in the snow, packing all the snow. And the whole Where time, were you at the time? So I'm in America. Were you, in were America. you still in school or you had to stop? I'm in school the whole time. Okay. At this point, mm-hmm. right? So he's there and eventually he gets his work permit sorted out. And he's at, now he's, I think he's done, I think, a year or two and he's trying to apply for the PR, for the family. Yeah. PR is primary residence. Yeah. So in America, he's got a green card. Mm-hmm. And he's to tell us, so it gets to the point where they'll be like, okay, everybody needs to do police clearance. Right? And they'll call us on the phone in America, me and my brother. Like, oh, we're going to do a police clearance. You delay for months, we'll call us, you'll be mad. It's huh. like, are you guys insane? That Canada, we want to get the PR here. Like, yeah. Go out, do your clearance. I'll be like, which was, I'm just, I'm, my man, I'm just like, America, which was Canada? I did Yankee, I'm, I'll find my way here. Yeah. I'm not trying to. I think to o- Obama was in power that time. Yeah. The blacks, everything was good, like, good and all America, that. America, see, America does a thing to you. Where, <laughs> I'll, 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 let me just segue real quick. Mm-hmm. Where you feel like you're an American, even with your visa. Yeah. The time I, I volunteered <laughs> for the Democratic Party. What? I couldn't vote. I'm a, I'm a student visa. Mm-hmm. I have nothing. I can't even work. That was Obama now, because yes. that was you had oh eight to. But, but you feel so mm-hmm. good. <laughs> I had a friend. I have, I, have, I have a family friend that voted that, that tried to vote for this election that is not American. He couldn't vote. That he tried to vote, and I had to block him. That's that's that's, that's, that's how it, that's it. It just makes you feel like you're part of the, yeah. something bigger than you. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> I don't know. So, don't know wants, so, so, now, so you guys didn't get your PR in so, so we didn't even get it. Like mm-hmm. so he's trying to get us to get it. Eventually we forced us after many months. We, 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 we did it, we got our PR. Mm-hmm. So me, I, I I dropped out of school officially 2015 November. Mm-hmm. My mom sick my, my mom comes to see me and she's like, You're in school. I'm like, Mom, I'm in school, but guess what? I'm not going back home. <laughs> but, that, it would be so but, me. but I mean, you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> you have, to, have you started your music business? I was already. I mean, I yeah. already doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that you were, you already doing. I remember. It would be so me. That's, <laughs> that's America. I can't live it. Hmm. Because my friend had come back to Nigeria. I told you the year before. Yeah. My friend moved. Shout out to me. Uh-huh. I had to go back back back, back, back here too. We were so depressed. Yeah. So I'm like, Mom, listen, I'm not gonna. And, and I, 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 I used to come to America. I to, to, to Nigeria for holidays, and I would come back. My mom asking me, I ah, never graduate. They'll be shooting you. So I say, Ah, but what? 
I cannot be in Nigeria uh-huh. after six years of going to school in America. I didn't Rich, these are aunties. I'm not going that's, home. A, that's another mental health I my conversation. Mom, I my mom, listen, I'm not going home. Yeah. Like, they told me, don't send me no fucking Everybody money. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah. At this time, I've already looked at, looked at how to enter the army in America to get my daughter. I'm married one. <laughs> 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 the army? Army. Even fact, Nigerians fact, actually the do I, that. The reason I didn't do the army was because they told me that I had to, I had to, I had to drop my Nigerian passport. Because you have to pick a country. You, yeah. fight for. you can't fight for two. You can't, yeah. you you can't, can't have, have affiliations to both of them. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pick one. So I'm like, ah, I can't drop my Nigerian passport. So all those armies, all those, um, so uh, not no. armies, but like all those generals with the Navy for America, with the senior Nigerian Nigerians. So if we, if I become president and I want them to come back, they can't come back. Or I have to like agree it, with be a process government. because yeah, because you would have to intervene personally. Because, 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 because the, the, the idea is that if there was a war between America and Nigeria, you can't pay. Uh, you can't yeah. pay Nigeria if you're an American army. America, we don't be fighting and we are people. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it, but that makes sense. I get that. So anyway, so I, so I didn't do that. Anyway, so I don't know. You don't want to go. November. Mm-hmm. My mom comes out Thanksgiving and she's like, I'm like, mom, listen, leave me here. Technically for me at the time. What was your brother doing by the time? My brother's, my brother's, brother's brilliant. Been a, my brother's always been a good boy. Now you've... Ironically, when we grew up, my brother was the one that was wild. He just, <laughs> just got straight and I just got uh, yeah, right. He's so, in the US now, right? Mm-hmm. Still working. Um, so anyway, I, we got a PR in December. Oh, so you got the PR, but you didn't want to move? No, no, no. I got a PR in December. Okay. So I thought that was going to November. I'm saying, listen, I'm going to be an illegal, illegal American. And I'll be, <laughs> if I'll you don't be, support I'll me, I'll be, support I'll myself. America, I'll find a way to get my paper here. Mm-hmm. I'm literally, I'm, see, I'm not a full street boy. So, so you were really ready to join the army? <laughs> army or <or> marry. <laughs> Some With everything about, about black involved. Yeah, so, 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 so uh, that's it for the different days. Only got army reserves. So you don't really actually have to fight. Mm. Mm. Same thing. You just have to en- en- until they enlist. They the yeah, just yeah. like in Russia, they call the reserves. Mm. That's the like extreme situation. It's like, okay, yeah. you need more people to fight. Yeah. You're in the reserve. I come. Most, most, of, most of what you do at reserve is just training. Yeah. I don't even think you would make it through boot camp. Once a month. No, no. I'm <laughs> tough. I'm tougher than you think. No, I But anywho, I'm for papers at the time. You do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. So anyway, so thank you for appearing in December. So for me, the PR was a breakthrough. Because I, again, I leave school in November, I drop out of school. You have 14 days to leave the country. Oh, God has really always loved you. Now you Listen, just do always So the PR fights. was <laughs> important to me the most. Because I needed to, I, I needed yeah. a place to go after I dropped out of school. Because when you don't okay. go to school in America, you're besides school. Yes, council. You have two months, you have to leave in two weeks. Wow. You don't have a month, you have two weeks to pack all your stuff and go to your country. So how did you now go back till between legs once and say, okay, mommy, I'm coming to Canada? So, so, so my mom told me, so in that conversation with my mom, and I told her, like, I'm not going to Nigeria. Because mm-hmm. at the time, I didn't know there was PR was going to come. Okay. She says, oh, well, you know what? Canada is about to answer us on my PR. So mm-hmm. just, just be patient. I, I might have to see the pre So we get a PR in December. I don't move till April. because So when you get a okay. PR, they tell you, you have to move by a certain date. Yeah. They give me April 15, 2016. So I, I was like, okay, I've been in America five, six years. I got to kind of phase my movement. I can't just move immediately. So I kind of stay. But you have started Beam that time. You already had, was, you, already was, doing already, your, you were doing, doing your already, music, you were, you're, you're on popular. tour. Yeah, you're already Shiny. a big boy. We're, we're seeing you. Shiny. I you know that's funny about social media. We that were here seeing my wife, like, oh, my wife, is, my wife is on top of the world. Oh. I was so depressed. You are so jealous. I used to see his accounts when I was in high school, and I literally didn't even know who he was. Different babes. We see this. Okay, when we go see Wheel of God and all that, my wife was on top of the world. Wheel of God. It was a fun ride, but I was very depressed. Because oh, I, so that's, and that's mental health. So so, this, so mental health. Is but, but did you not have any friend? Just to segue. No, again, I, I was, you have was it, Okay. School school was was, was the man, it was job. a better pill for me, man. Because I was, I just I just, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, it's, it's, it started from the way I got into my first school and mm-hmm. all that, and the pressure of my parents not fight. My parents were probably got, almost got divorced because of me. Because really? when I failed my when I got started from my first school, my dad is like, "Well, I told you guys so." <laughs> so <he's laughs> he wasn't gonna he wasn't yeah. gonna get it right anyway. Oh, did he want you to come back? That's another thing. No, did, he, did he want you to come? No, when no, you, no. What did Bob want? Never come back. Just like okay, well now he has failed, so go to so another school. But, but the time, so it's mixed of many things. I was just very depressed at the time anyway. Mm-hmm. And I held it to engineering a, lot, a little bit too long. I should, I should know from the first time that I see. Oh, so the second school, you still did engineering? I was, okay, you know what? Let me, get, let me go to that story. <laughs> Why are we don't get time? Sorry, let's go to that Please, I'm here today. Okay, so I did engineering my first school. Aerospace engineering. Yeah. I, I just spent the Okay. That's, a, that's another long story. And then I go to one year community college. Community college is like your first two years of university. Yeah. Right, so I kind of get... So that's like another A-levels. So something now like I'm that. transferring back to Texas to a full university. Mm-hmm. I should have at that time switched my major. It's like, nah. I have two more years to go to school. So let me just do it and just let me just yeah. prove everybody wrong. So this is you know, this, this crazy. And this is why now I, 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 don't, I won't say mentor, but I talk to a lot of people who struggle with school. Yeah. And it's a story that's... We're, we're going to make my own, our, one of our mentors you know it, like, right this now. Because yeah. you know there's so many people that go through these things and it's hard to explain to somebody else that they've not been through it before. Yeah. Yeah. When you're going to school every semester, your mind is the one. Yeah. 
I'm busy. I'm going to yeah. semester. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Go <laughs> yeah. And you get to class. Because it's, it's continuum. You have a syllabus. Calculus one, calculus two, calculus three. Yeah. You struggle with calculus one. You can't move. Calculus is not easy for you. Yeah. In your mind, you think it will be easy. Yeah. But what you should be doing is trying to review that calculus one. That yes. Where you can catch up. <laughs> but you just, you just think it's, it's, you can grow yourself into being better in the school. So, an engineer, so the way my school path went for me was, I don't know my prerequisites. By the time I go to Texas Tech, yeah, I've done everything I needed to do. So the way they break down your, your, so your schooling in America mm-hmm. is you do two courses that are kind of difficult. So yeah. if you're an engineer, you do maybe physics, math, yeah. you do like English, yeah. to balance your... Yeah, that's to balance stuff out. So you're, so not, you don't, yeah. you're taking four tough mm-hmm. classes. Yeah. When you're like me and you've done three years in multiple colleges and stuff like that, you've taken all your easy classes. So now you're, you're coming to your three. Ooh, it's all hard. All the main yeah. stuff, the main stuff. This, this thing is hard for you if you like engineering. Mm-hmm. If, you are, if you are brilliant, it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's big five, five courses that engineering. Yeah. For someone like me who is one leg in, one leg out, it's really hard. Right, so you go to class, thermodynamics. The guy tells you, more. So we do this one from last semester. If you don't yeah, know, yeah, catch yo, up yo. over the weekend. Like going forward. So I, you get you get depressed immediately. <laughs> you're like, oh, well, I'm already lost. Okay, so let's so, ask questions. You're already lost. So now I'm going through that. So I, so I got to the point where I was just in school, kind of going going in circles. I pass the semester. I'll find a way to get. But I'll I, fail. I'll carry that. I'll carry the course. Was there any counselor or any academic counselor where you called in? Was there anybody to guide yeah, you? Yeah, I'm telling you. So process? I'll tell you how I got to. So my, my first semester. So when you transfer to a new school, you can't even get engineering immediately. Okay. You put me in top of the engineering. Okay. So, I t- so that first semester, I had to take classes again I've taken before. Yeah. At this point, you've passed them three times. So it's easy. So I'm, my GPA is like 3.7 out of 4. Mm-hmm. So I have, of, I have the force of confidence that I'm smart. Right? My, I took no engineering classes. I took classes that I took in before. I took them again. So now they put me in engineering. Because so what, what, what they want is that if you can pass your first semester at at least 2.75 GPA, then you can get into the engineering program you want to get into. Right? If you don't pass, then you can't get into the engineering program. You have to go find mm-hmm. another job. So what? So me and three point seven. This list. You're yeah, the one we are looking for. That's mm. what they take. Mm. So now they put me. I'm taking four or five classes in engineering. Mm. First classes, I'm like, bro, I'm. We're back to the same struggle mm. before, right? But I just hold on to it. I'm like, okay, if I can just find a way to do so, I'll, I'll fill the semester. I'll go and take class again. I'll find a way to get a C. Move on. Again, my but nobody I, to talk to. Nobody yeah. was there. Was nobody. No friend. No. But I'm telling nobody. you. I'm just telling myself. Listen, I just got two two more years left. What was your coping mechanism? Ah, so, so it's the music. That was, that was yes. So, that time. This how this how this how my life was working for me at the time. School. I'm not, I'm not doing well in school. No, no, no. I'm not doing well in school. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a source of depression for me. It's a source of uh, low self esteem for me. Mm. Mm. Very low self esteem because I'm just like I shouldn't be this. I'm not that stupid. Mm. I know that. You're not even <laughs> stupid at all. You're just not doing the right. So, you're not just doing the right course. For me. My first school was blogging. That's when I started blogging heavily. Ah, and yes. I, I put some more time into that blogging. I was like, because I was here, I got a lot of love from a lot of people. Social media was very popular. Yeah. And people knew, and people knew that my work ethic was heavy. So when I started doing the music industry, doing the tours, doing the music management, I put all my time into that. And people respected me there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not good in school, but I'm good at that. Mm-hmm. So that's why I didn't want to go to school. I'm like, you know what? Mm-hmm. That school is not for me. This is well for me. I'm popular here. People know me. People love me. People respect me here. This is what I want to do. With my time and energy, so I put all my time. But you never felt I should drop school and just focus on the business because you later. I should have dropped school a while ago. Listen, uh, yeah. I can't drop school because in America you have no paper. Your paper is your school. Mm. So let me be in school. I keep, I have, to, I have, to, I have to take my. I have to the school my is what is like fueling your yeah. your enterprise. Yeah, as soon as I'm not in school anymore, I'm a mm-hmm. citizen. So that's a different. Mm. That's a different. That's a different fight. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to postpone. As long as my legal can. my legal life. So okay, as long as, as, long as I'm in school and I'm not below two point zero GPA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can, I can still kind of hang around, hang around me, uh-huh. and I can still try to force myself to still fight if I do the school. And I'm like, yeah, I can't go back and start economics or, uh-huh. or business admin. Because I, I realized, after like three years, I realized I'm like, right, I should be doing business admin. Did okay. you ever cry so, though? Like in this eight year yeah. period? I like, that's what... fat. I'm a skinny, bro. I'm a skinny by life. Mm-hmm. My dad is skinny, my uncles are skinny, my mm-hmm. grandmother was skinny. Mm-hmm. I started getting, I started getting, not the problem where I get now, from that time. N- really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not, I've seen you down, Amala, what whatnot. Not, yeah, not yeah. the now. You just got fat. I used to, I used to just. <laughs> My, my my thing was very high. I used to, you need to eat anything like you can just go, right? But I started eating. Combined depression with the lifestyle of being in the music industry is it. it's a crazy combination. Did so, you go in therapy at any point? Any, or, uh, I know you later, started doing later, therapy recently, therapy later, but not. Later. Okay. By the time I just, man, there's so many emotions. You don't want to disappoint everybody. But did yeah. you have, did, was there any beep? Was there any beep that you were aspiring to? Like, that was press? what I was, I was about to ask. Like, like did it affect because your we relationship guys, there, with there women. are so many things that we usually want to do: impress our mothers, impress yeah. our babes. Was there any? Beep? How, I didn't for me, it's just weird because I always, I always, because I, I used to find my own, my cousins because mm-hmm. they thought I was doing drugs. 
<laughs> I just couldn't see why. <laughs> I was like, the school. Yeah. I was like, I was like are you doing I'm something just, on the side? I'm just depressed. There had to be a reason. Like, I was never even like... So, I mean, when I, got, when I got to Texas, I was very popular. So, uh, all the girls liked me in school and stuff like that. I was, well, I was, you know, I was, I was very popular. I was, I was, I was He's not lying. Really? He's actually not lying. I was in the party mm. myself, so I was very popular. Mm. So, but like... I knew about him before I met him. Like when I was young in high school. School was just a thing for me that was just. So you didn't even see you didn't see any um, Grace Maria to just settle down with. Mister Dibo, she said since high school, she knew about him. Like I used to see him on Twitter. No, (laughs) so. This thing, swag. I, no, it's good that we're here now because I feel like. Am I right to wear a do rag that time? Legend. So like, you come out every day. You wear a. People that knew me mm-hmm. just believed I had everything going on the right way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I was very with the music. I was, I was I was very good with what I was doing in the music mm-hmm. industry, and I was and I worked very like people like my energy is very heavy, so I worked very hard. So people just respected that. Okay, and people just assumed that if you're doing so well, you have to do well in school. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's my closest friends just assumed that because you, you just give off that smart look. Yeah, yeah. Know, and 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 for you to be putting so much time in this other thing, you have to be doing keep it. Let me just assume that you're doing everything. And you're balancing Particularly that. if you don't come ask for help. Right. Yeah. Right. And and if who's going to help me? Bro, engineering courses are hard. <laughs> who's going to help you with this? But it's funny because today now students can can pay their way. They can even send their assignments here. There wasn't anybody to help you. Did yeah. you ever so, consider it? Or did you ever try to finesse? Was Princess, was princess Egba still Mr. Pasha? Was this still? still? My, 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 my life is so wild that I have to do a, 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 a podcast on that one separately. <laughs> See, I never was so trouble in school. I was doing classes for people in calculus. You were doing tutorial. I was getting paid for no to take people to classes for them in community college. I was one class. Sitting in class for them to make money to make money on the side. Mm. Yes, I was doing that. I was doing that on the side too. Uh, <laughs> my was a book. It's right. not today. Started. It's not today. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Nigerians just, and hustlers. So it's, it's, it's hard to understand. Mm. It's only me that knew what I was facing. That's what I can explain to you. But but let me ask though because there's no way to explain that people just couldn't. Like my friends would see me and then I, I was so my, my, my friends are close. They would see like they, you could always tell it, once he's month two in the semester. Yeah. Starts to get depressed, starts to withdraw himself. Mm. Because they're, they're, they're but they didn't they, really, they, they couldn't they place me. it. Yeah, they could they place it, but it's just they like, couldn't tell. Okay. They couldn't get to me about but it. But because, is it also because you were like the don? Like you were the main kind guy. Of, you so, were so, the so king. So, 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 so they would look at me and they want to try to break into my share. But like, if you watch the wire, you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so get to me. so we'll go back to the story. But eight years down the line, Maya, you're doing great things. You're you're doing your MBA in LBS. You've got a recycling company. And you and I spoke about that years ago when I was still working in Popsy. Um, what else are you doing today? You have investments and all that. I, eight years down the line, are you are you past the depression? Do you have you are you? I mean, you're you're talking about it now, but do you still have any pain? Any? Would you say there's always you, pain? There's always some pain. Uh, but do, no, do you have regrets? Never. Regrets. I mean, now, no regrets. Life is what it is. Uh, never regrets. There's, there's pain for, me, but that's life. I don't think there's. I don't think everybody's just always happy all the time. Right? Everything is perfect. Life is yeah. life is what it is. Uh-huh. But I don't have regrets. I think life happens how it's supposed to happen. Uh-huh. Um, and it leads you to where it leads you to. So, so and, I, and that is what it is. I'm also going to ask: Do you feel responsible now to people? Because I mean, you and I, I, I mean, mm-hmm. me, you are rogues and others. We've had certain conversations about what we want to do and all that. But at this particular junction, do you feel responsible? Like, okay, there's so many people who I can help. Very. I've always felt like that. In fact, that's maybe a big problem for me because I'm always too. So you mean because it seems like we haven't spoken to your mean a while. You mean I mean <laughs> very so, responsible. You, you mean pre med, you fought your parents. Now you are in you are in corporate comms and whatnot. What, what what are your regrets? What do you think you what have you done well? And what what are your um, grades like right now? Because you've always been brilliant. So what are my grades like right are, now? Like, are you enjoying yourself? Are you happy now? No, <laughs> but I'm getting there. I have like a couple of months left. Mm-hmm. Finish off, graduate. Um, the only reason I'm not happy now is because I have regrets that I should have fought more for what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Like I would have been done quicker, you well, know. Well, you couldn't fight your parents because they don't pay in school. No, you fees definitely and can. You no, definitely can. I, I personally feel like if more, and that's a Nigerian thing that we're working on in the office. Um, anyone that knows, I mean, Ilave Education. Hmm. The, the the reason that I started Ilave Education was because there were so many things that nobody ever spoke to me about. Hmm. When I was in, when I was in university, my when I tell them in the office, I wrote two semester exams in one summer. Hmm. Like, there were experiences I could have stayed. So you, you did one year back and all that. I could have done that. I, I went in on a scholarship. There was an opportunity for to me where? to stay back. At least it's in here. Mm. Mm. You know, and uh, I went in on a scholarship. There were issues and they, they were advising, okay, do you want to stay back one year and start afresh and all that? And I think for me, the pride was that, me, that everybody in the class was not brilliant. Mm. We've done one year. I'll now go back 
the I stigma. On the you, you've been to the level. I mean, I know I'm brilliant. I'm yeah. And, mm. But I was 16, 17. Nobody told me anything. Bro, I'm telling you. this. And, and that's really here. where counseling, like education, like advice was. Because everybody does things that everybody needs to be an engineer. No, 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 right. You see, when you, say, when you say counseling, yeah. America has, those schools have good counseling systems. Yeah. It's one that can relate to you. That's important. That's, that's ex- yes. And they really I was talking really about Prince and Mr. Pasha and all that. No. Yes, that's really it. And in this scenario, like yeah. someone, for someone like me, there was nobody, nobody to, could nobody talk to reach because, out. Yes. They've not been through that. You can't, you've not, you, you don't know how the, the shoe they pay me now. That's you don't, true. Yeah, you don't know how they pay. You can't, <laughs> you can't relate. Because you don't feel like, and like your guys parents, like my cousins yes. that, 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 that had gone to school for years yes. and they had to pay for something GP. You can't yeah, come. Yes. Because they're just thinking, ah, it's not hard. It's not like, hard. Mm. And for you, so your mom, dentist, I don't know how much dentists are paid every year, but I'm sure they're well paid. Your dad is business. So they probably also feel that, ah, my daughter, now me know what, I know what's best for you. Not even necessarily, because okay. like, I originally, I wanted to be a lawyer. My mom said there's no money in law. So <laughs> I was like, she was like, mom, she, don't know that one. she was like, lawyers don't make money. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll do engineering. <laughs> No, I said I would do pre-med. And then after pre-med, I was like, let me try industrial engineering because I was told it's the business side of mm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's easily finessable. Did you consider like... Easily finessable, Because yes. you, could have, you could have put in for another course. I mean, you would have told them you're doing something else. Did you consider that, that was, in any... In a... So there was, um, there was pre-med, there was... Industry. engineering yeah. there was supply chain management you could have done that you're beautiful no. i mean supply chain people what do they do they go is they it about sure. beauty no uh, that, it's actually very there's a lot of data analytics and logistics that goes into it i worked for a semiconductor company for a year really and oh, did you graduate from this supply chain no okay just i just work had and i i was still in school and you know they were paying me like and it was really nice. I was like, wow, this lifestyle would be nice, you know. Okay. They were paying me enough to where I could I moved out of my parents' house in Houston and wow. got an apartment. Oh wow. And my parents were like, What are you doing? I moved back home a year after I was, <laughs> I was like, damn, rent it's is it's exp- not a, it's not, ah, it's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you just be chilling in the house and you're like, hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna have for dinner. And whereas then you realize you, you're the one cooking whereas the Whereas when you did house, mom still don't sort mom still has sorted everything on food for but, you. But um yeah. After supply chain, what did you do? After supply chain, I worked like I actually worked, like I had to open my laptop every morning. It was after COVID, so it was like work from home. And it wasn't like that hard, but like I was not happy doing what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Like I felt too bubbly. Mm-hmm. Like everybody was so serious. Rightfully so, there's a chip shortage. There's always a fire to put out. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like I would rather be putting out fires where like I feel like I'm happy putting out the fires. Yeah, man, just be you know? doing anything. Yeah. And yeah, after I worked there, I was just like, I don't think this is gonna work. And they wanted to give me a full time offer contingent on like me graduating with that major. Really? I only had I think six months left of school yet. And I was like, I'm So you yeah, might have you guys need to co co author a book. <laughs> Bro. You guys need to <laughs> my baby sister's going through the same thing and I told her I'm like Really? Where's she now? Can- she's, she's back in school. In What's Canada? Canada? Okay. And I when I was showing her because I used to I was showing her like when I was telling her my story, she was she was very man, very close to yeah, very yeah. Because yeah. She, she was she was alone. The thing I'm like, man, baby, don't worry. Me, I had the same exact things that I'm like anything you're doing, I've done it. So mm. don't worry, you come to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's like, I it's interesting. It. You you did I think economics in Windsor eventually, yeah. yeah so even, in, even economics. Oh, so even in Windsor, you had other majors too. This is what I'm explaining ah, to you. Wow, that's crazy. So 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 I take the part of engineering. Oh, in Texas State. So you start from engineering. The hardest ones are like chemical, yeah, electrical, maybe mechanical, right? If you're not good enough, your GPA drops enough, you drop to industrial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're not good enough there, you drop to math and physics. Mm-hmm. These, are, these, are, these are the ones so that... So pure easy... No, it's, they're not, it's not that you're easier. It's, it's that... There's levels. No, it's, it's, that, it's that at that level, when you're, when you're at that level, you have enough... You can transfer easily mm-hmm. and not lose a Much. year or okay. a semester. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you can still have the same graduation path. Yeah. Right. So it's... What is, and, then if, and then after that is economics. Mm. Right. So economics is kind of far. Like You might, you might lose a year. So when you went to Windsor, you went to do engineering again. So before I left Texas Tech, they had other school. This one I had. This one, this one I had to leave school eventually. Yeah. I've been engineering. Mm-hmm. I was for the for the two years I was in and I was I was in it. That they had won me. I had, I had a good GPA. initially, three point six. Mm-hmm. It drops to like for you know two three point two point two three point zero. Mm-hmm. Two point when, when you go below two point seven five. So yeah, 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 yeah. They're so already telling you. Give you a warning. Far, like, far, you can't far. be there anymore. Can't be, yeah. I go and say oh, I'm depressed. They say, okay, I'm from Nigeria, blah, blah. At this, at this point, I knew the I knew the way you could get to me. Mm. So we give you an extra semester to try again. Yeah. If you don't do semester. So I, I, I don't like two semesters of giving oh, them stories. Okay. Like, oh, I wonder <laughs> how many SAPs you filed. So like, Baba, you don't do, you, you're not good enough. Like, get out. So now when you get out, you have to. So I was like, okay, what's the easiest way I can, thing I can do? Physics is very hard because I tough. I said, no, let me go and do math. Because I like math. I like calculus. <laughs> I go to math class the first day. So I don't, at this point, I don't calculus one, calculus three, calculus two, linear algebra. 
statistics easy. Like, easy, not easy, but easy for me. Easy enough, understandable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Logic of it. Yeah. I go to the first class. I think it's uh, abstract math. Guy, there's no there's no number there's letters. If you didn't they didn't do kind of math <laughs> no numbers letters, they're doing proof of formulas. This was the professor Stop Chinese. Was professor Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the engineer that I left. That's when I knew how to leave school. That's when I dropped out of school. That's the best. So then you went to guess what? Okay. So now I, now I don't go to school for two years. I moved to Canada 2016. Mm-hmm. I'm working all the odd jobs that you can do. I worked all the jobs. Forklift driver. I have a license thing now, actually. Call center. You've done everything. I wheelbarrow pushing. I've done bro, crazy jobs that I didn't think I've ever done in my life. But like, again, bro, I, I, again I, I, on mental health. My first, my first wheelbarrow in Canada in the winter. Again, mental crazy. health. We that we are here, <laughs> we will probably be envying Mayawa. Like, Mayawa is happy. Mm. Mayawa is abroad. Yeah. You know, Mayawa, because he always mm. has a smile on his face. You can never tell. He's doing all these parties and all that. And here you are telling us that um, oh, you were on your own. Right. No, no. So, so I, started, I live with my parents. My parents were there. Yeah, but I just. But you couldn't talk to them. I tell them I'm depressed. Mom she know, was mom she depressed know, like, you didn't well, well, know any of these things. Oh, no, so she, she knows. knows. She knows. Well, so I, you see my. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. My hand. I have an injury here from, mm-hmm. from working. I almost lost my finger. This one. Wow. Work. My mom looked at me. She was so sad. She's like, "Why is your life so hard? Like all mm. you had to do was go to school." Oh, so they weren't forcing you to work. You just wanted. No, to... I, I just couldn't be home because I'll be depressed more and. I'll be I can't, well, asking, I'll, I'll asking them for money, like to do what? And then my dad looking at me every day is like, bro, you're, you're kind of useless. Like, yeah. you're school, you're and school. you know how your bad parents, so will, like they will tell us, they will tell us how it is. African parents, they will yeah, tell us how it is. So me, I didn't want to be home anyway. Uh, and then I had, I had to be able to um, get So how did you get into Windsor then? What, what, what happened? What, what, what changed? So 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 I, I moved to Canada 2016. Mm-hmm. I work, work, work. At the time, I'm still chasing music thing heavily. Fully. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to work, save my money, go to Nigeria, push my artists, come back, work again. That was my whole cycle. Until the guy blows up and I. I leave all this lifestyle alone and move as blown artists, right? As blown people, whatever. So I'm doing I do that a year or two. Um and I'm just like, you know what, bro, I've I've been in school for six years at this point. And I do, I, I was in school back at the time, but I've I'd been taking six years in school. Yeah. In, in the hour, past, yeah. Right, in America. And I'm like, oh, God, I can't just not get a degree after all this time I've spent. Yeah. So I go back to so I so I apply back to go back to school in twenty seventeen. Now, same same stupid idea that I have. What's the easiest, easiest idea I can do that will get me out of school? Don't know me. Yeah, I, yeah. I go back to math. Ah. Again. <laughs> abstract. I'm yeah, telling you, I'm abstract. Have you not learned your lesson? I, I that's what I'm telling you. I yeah. go back to math again. I go to, and, they, and, they, and they accept me on my, on my English transfer. I have a year left. Math. I go to the class the first day. I'm like, bro, are you insane? <laughs> we just went through this two years ago. So, mm. I, so that semester I withdrew from school completely. I need to go on class oh, that wow. semester. So I, so, I, so I had five classes initially. I dropped all four. I took only one, statistics. And that's when I went to economics. I'm like, mm-hmm. no, economics is one that I should have been doing the whole time. Mm-hmm. Something I like, something I spend my energy yeah. in my spare time reading the Bloomberg and economics. Yeah, my worry, nobody knows that as right. well. My worry is a reader. We, we, me so, I'm like, was... so I'm like, you no, know, well, fuck <laughs> it. I just go and do economics. And funny enough, it wasn't too far away. From... A lot of my classes transferred as, a lot of my engineering classes transferred as, as uh, electives. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, had, I think I had like a year and a half and I did economics and uh, I pushed it to I finished eventually 2019. Oh, wow. So I started school. So I started, I started school in 2010 January. I finished. I graduated eventually 2019 May. So I, funny story. That? And when How again, when my what when my what finished, he posted it. Nobody knew the story. We were all just excited. I, did, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't go know. to my graduation. I, did, I, I just um I just, I just told him to send my degree to my house. It wasn't it wasn't a little joy for me. I was just relieved. So was, so you mean so supply chain? How then did you get to where you are? What what, what then happened? What I mean, COVID was three years ago. What, what changed? Um. Honestly, what changed is I've always been like a creative person, like book, like I've, I'm book smart. Yes, but I've noticed that it takes me a lot more. Like I have to apply myself more than other people mm. do. But I paint, I play guitar, I sew, I knit, like mm. anything with my hands. Artistic. Yeah, like music. Again, again, again. I'm, I have like a very good ear for music. Yeah. So I'm just like, why can't I just do something I'm passionate about? Something mm. I wake up and I'm just like, even if it's stressful, like it's worth it, mm-hmm. you know? And then I had the conversation with some of my friends. I'm just like, I'm going to change my major. And my parents are not going to know till um, yeah, I got. Know, well, know. now they're going to know. Um, <laughs> but so they still don't know. That's they don't know exactly what I'm doing. They just know I'm. So what, like, what, as long what, as you what, what did they know? As what was the last thing they, they figured you were doing? Was that supply chain? Um yeah, supply chain. Well, supply chain is not far yeah. from what you're currently doing. <laughs> it's, it's very far. far. It's far. Yeah. It's very far. It's so very so far. so what's I mean the job prospect for what you do is what corporate comes largely or mm. what was 
But you can work in any sector now. I can work in any sector. She's a creative. She wants to be in the music industry. Oh, really? Yeah. The industry, so like creative, industry of P. Is he creative director? Like, um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. A&R, media communications. So I want to start off with communications first because I want to actually put my degree to use mm -hmm. and then, you know, learn from the people before me. Well, one thing I would just say, and I mean, I probably take a minute of, of sharing with you guys is that um, it's interesting. I mean, my, like Maya said, I left school. I left CRC after a while. One of the things that I think that I learned is that when you have people guiding you, right, or people who are ahead of you, um, and you can probably also have those conversations because that's really what I see that is lacking. Um, I also studied computer science and electronics and I finished my four years. But by my second or third year, so the difference is probably, I'm the only child of a single mom. So people like us, we are, we are, we are raised by committee. So that means there are plenty of people have Involved, around yeah. in those supporting. It takes supporting. a village. So they just really, either they're doing it because they just want to help your mom or they just like your mom or they just feel like yeah, you need the help. Mm -hmm. So I had all these people who was, you know, they, was, they were available for me for guidance. I had somebody who is a life coach today, like motivational speaking life coaches. So they train schools, they train their prefects, they train the teachers, they train the... Man, I'm not going to lie to you. No, they couldn't get to me. See, I have a lot of support in my family. My mom is <laughs> like, it's over, almost overbearing with support. Now, get to me, man. now let me, I'm, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you what was the difference for me. Mm. The difference for me was that when I was in second, third year, I was also depressed because I, I wrote those exams, two semester exams, like I was writing those mm. exams together and my grades were, were like, I was flunked. You said 2.5, right? I was below no, no, 2. No, no, I, I was I, below 2 over 5. I got, I, I got below that. Yeah, eventually. you know, and for me, I was depressed. Nobody knew. Right, even me, I don't even think I knew. I just knew that I was going to a cycle. No, but you guys, yeah, you guys here, yeah, a bit lucky because you guys are kind of forced to graduate here. Yes, because you have to be in school. So I was, no, I would no, also watch, I watch, watch football. I watch Chelsea. I'm Chelsea will make you sad sometimes. I watch Naruto. I watch movies. I will read and stuff. You know, so I was depressed, but I didn't know. Now, what did these people do to me? This, this influential people that I can remember to date is, so uh, for Pastor G, what did he do? He just came to my school one day. He just gave me gifts. Like he just said, oh. I, I'm traveling from his university. I went to I went to teach there or something like that, and he gave me fruit. You know how we are when we travel now. We buy all the mm -hmm. fruits from the cheap villages and all that. So he just gave me two bags of yam. He just said, "How are you doing?" Blah blah blah. And I said, "I'm fine." So he just started checking up on me. He didn't say anything. He never even asked my grade. Till today, I don't even think he knows what sure. I was doing. I feel like and yeah, yeah. So okay. he just started calling. That, oh, Dipo, where are you? Where are you free this weekend? Let's go to Ikiti. Let's go to Oshun. That's an approach that he didn't take with me. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I maybe. started going. So before I knew it, me that I wasn't really doing well, I was teaching academic excellence because I had developed a software for my university. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't not brilliant. I was just going to stuff. And before I finished, I had other people. I had, so the recycling that we used to talk about years ago, he just, it was church. He wanted to give me thank you that time. Thank you was money then. Yes, yeah, sure, So I went to his office and I said, like, what do you do? He said, well, I used to do wood. It was one of the biggest people in wood before. I sold all my machines. Wood is no more doing well in Nigeria. I'm starting recycling with wealth. So we'll take pure water nylons, convert to pellets. And my wife does bottles now. He would just do all those things. So I would go into the machine. I was like, ah, I was in 200, 300 at that time. So every holiday I'll be in his house. Wow. Every holiday I come Guys like that are, are important to have. Yeah. I was going there. He never, till today, I don't think they know my grade. Just wanted to just. I just want, and I was happy. I mean, I didn't have a Bro, father. I, I looked for people like this for so much. So I they didn't have to do to anything. Get. So, you know, we talk about the importance of guidance counseling. We talk about the importance of agents and having the right people around. People yeah. who, they don't have to, like, I don't have to tell my wife that. Oh, this your beard. You know how pastor said, mm. you know, mm. yeah, I see now. <laughs> don't need to, I don't need to say anything. Trim me down a bit. Yeah, you don't say that. Trim me down. Look at you. You're looking so scruffy. But there are ways that you can. It's a little bit shady. You're using a thing for the now. You know? But there are ways that. My point is that there are ways you can just show love without yeah. really. I don't even want to say I, I love you. I could just send a text message out, oh, Yomi. How are you doing? Have a blessing. But this is a tough one that I feel like a lot of other Nigerians and that's what we struggle love. with. So that's really what has helped me because now my business, I mean, people see me, oh, Deepo, it seems like you're doing well. I'm not doing well because I didn't do anything. I mean, I'll first tell you that I, I, I well, believe well, sure. but I'm doing well. How and well, I have... How well, how well. What do you work like? Well, ah, you know, we can't talk about that. <laughs> we can't talk about that. But we're doing well enough for us to have Ilewe education. Sure, sure. I, I'm the best. We just got an award two weeks ago. I'm I'm one of the best in Nigeria oh, doing what I do. That. Yeah. I, and I mean, the truth of the matter is that you're mistreating all religion. The truth of the matter is religion is also misunderstood. I mean, very, this very is not the podcast for yeah, Christian it's misused. Right. For me, when we were in school, what were the things that CRC used to talk to us about? It didn't make sense to us because of also the approach. Mm -hmm. Meeting us 5 a.m., come out for a.m., um, quiet time, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ogidin, all those things. Yeah. The truth Even of the matter. Down to NYC camp. Down to 4 a.m. For, for assembly and prayers. Really? You know that? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? No, NYC is a boot camp. So, so, so you, I know you. It's ah. two weeks, it's a boot camp. 
they go. So you can chase them. Once you begin to hear that alarm, if you don't come out, you begin slap. Mm-hmm. Now my my point is mm-hmm. that what we used to learn in CRC my the interesting thing about it is that when I reflect on it today, the knowledge is different. Mm. So remember how they used to make us cram Genesis 1 and all those things, all those alert and gimme. The reality is that the, the truth of the matter is my goal is just to be fruitful to multiply and replenish to dominate. So like all your experiences now, Maya, should help you to be able to help other people. Oh, sure. mm. So that means that people who could have gone worse off what you even went through, you could guide them to the right path. Of course. Now, if you're doing like you're doing recycling, you can be the best in recycling. You can dominate. Sure. You can raise 10 other factories in Africa and send young people there. Sure. That's really what I'm about. And what I will tell you for free is that having people around you who can guide you, that's, that is priceless. Um, not people that will judge you, not people that will make you feel less than even your parents. Your parents are even giving you money now. You know, our parents will still talk. They will, they will talk. They will yab you. They will, they will even slap you. They will go, tomorrow money will come. They will drop money beside you and whatnot. You know, so... Those experiences are are priceless. But I, I actually, what... Loki, want to hear from you. So <laughs> my question for you is, um, so when you were going through all these things, mm-hmm. I've heard like from different women, mm-hmm. well, not even just different women, different people mm-hmm. say like men are the meanest people when they are going through stuff. If they are depressed, if they are broke, mm-hmm. they ah. like to transfer yeah. aggression. Yes, yes. So, Thank Actually. you. So my question to the both of you, actually, Mayawa, <laughs> mm-hmm. you included. So like, while you are going through all of this, who are you taking it out on? Because I know there's somebody. <laughs> so, so, so for me, like, I go to share. You, you can tell when I'm, I'm on, I, I just get depressed and I, I don't like to transfer aggression. Actually, so I just yeah isolate myself a lot more. And yeah. I take it out on you if you start to ask me like, what's wrong? What's wrong? I, I, I hate people asking me what's wrong yeah. with me when I'm angry. I was like, please, just give me the time. The truth about it is that, and even till mm-hmm. today, like when I when I reflect on how I am in my downtime, is that sometimes you just take it out on work. Yeah. But I won't lie, oh my God. When I was, when I was, they call me the king of Jack by now. When we were much younger, I mean, we weren't doing stupid things, but there were plenty of babes. Mm. And there, there's something about guys understanding that we can get any babe anyhow. Mm. Right? And Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah, Any yeah. yeah. Trust me, trust me. I had too many babes, even in church. You'd be like, oh, no, 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 I have hey, a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. So now, I mean, the difference is... The, the, why is she, I mean, she surprised? She's surprised because... Because it's church. Why are you going to church to for babes? Ah, where church. will I marry? I marry you marry in the church now. <laughs> See you. And so, church, 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 church will define babes. babes. So, so the difference now, so someone like me now, uh, me, I'm like he said, I, I'm raised spirit coco. I never used to club all those things. I didn't really like. We that. are both of us. <laughs> I think I'm like. extra spirit coco. So, but <laughs> but when we're in school, yeah, I'm a man now. I see babes. I notice babes. And so that time we just used to have plenty of female friends. Um, yeah. We didn't mm. always nonsense girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend. Like ah, I like you, you, like me. But so what, mm-hmm. what, what? To answer your question is, once I'm feeling depressed, I just forget that babe. At that time, and that you babe just off. come, you just jam, and that yeah. that really was it. But the only difference is that. The truth of the matter is, depending on what you are doing with the babe, if the babe has sense, mm-hmm. you won't feel bad. Because then, I was going to something and I wanted babes that were cerebral. Mm. I, funny enough, I, I did one of our classmates in that period. Who? Say the name. Mm. No, I'm, no, definitely not. Mm. I'm def- mm. I definitely will not tell you that. You're so messy. <laughs> not privately. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is that she, she was, I mean, we were all brought up, right? You need friends. Like, you know, dating today is misunderstood as well. Like, you need good friends, male yeah, or female, actually, who can yeah. actually talk to you. And mm-hmm. when I would withdraw, like you're talking about, because that's what guys do, we enter a cave, she wouldn't allow me be. Aww. But when I tell you the best, you know, you know. <laughs> so the thing about that is that... She won't let I you be. Like and, and that really somewhat changed that, that, my third, fourth year. Then I realized that, I'm all, I can't keep going. For me, it's very tough. I can't, can't keep going. I feel like everybody that tries to fight, fight me, Michelle, they really get it from me. But no man is an island. Because I get very... Like, I get very isolated. And it's... Like that, that, that's what you want. You want someone yeah. to fight yeah. and break into the shell. But again, yeah. women it's women tough. women are very wise. There is a way to get you. Like yeah, no, have, it's not it's not the way. It's not yeah so far. Let me introduce. I'll introduce you some. But, but when I married, uh, when I, I can bring my, I'm going to get married <laughs> next day. <laughs> you know. So yeah. So that so that's really what is. And the truth, I won't even lie, man. I was I I was a mess. People don't. This word also depression, maybe the, the English mm. definition of what depression mm. is, maybe it's also misunderstood. But like, it is, it's, it's, when you are brilliant, like Eunice now, Eunice came out with the first class. Of I could book, tell. So you can, you can tell. Yeah. Right? When, 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 you're, when your friends in class are either on the first class or two, one, and you are like, you know, you're like, I'm sure I'm smarter than this one. 
of course i found out some you know like nigeria some will pay some pay their way through school like i, yeah. I know so many of my friends in class that i yeah, realized that they don't pay their way they, through they, 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 they did those chips and all those nonsense but like the ones that even came out with good first class like this one you know this one was just brilliant i'm like ah, this one is not my level and that would just make you feel like ah, what's going on yeah, another yeah, thing i want to add oh go ahead it's always strange sorry i i also had the experience in high school so it's like this babe where they get first 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 i smart pass her more Bruh. but what's going on me that way i was studying in calculus one day exactly she was putting in so much effort crazy you could actually see that she was putting so much effort because we will come out from class and you know me now hyper hyper you need to everywhere we are just sitting in the hostel. She's reading books. She's reading, reading, That's reading. Like, is very what they read? What are you putting your head in? I don't in? know if they get ten extra marks for that effort. So I think that that was that was the edge for her. But then I I was like, why am I fourth position when I know that I can be this yeah. first position? Yeah. <laughs> With effort. And that, and Did your schools ever make y'all read gifted hands? Because I feel like if you read gifted hands, then like yeah, those are I, people you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, we, yeah, we no, actually read it, but yeah, it didn't make it compulsory. School, we just we, we just had read to it. read it and watch the no, movie. No, no, and no, after no, reading it, everybody movie. swore they were going to be a neurosurgeon. Oh yeah, maybe read these books So so I mean again we're talking mental health. I don't know if this episode deserves a part two because I don't think we've even touched on on the main questions that 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 was supposed to be talking it does. about. I think we I think we did we did enough, we did enough, enough, we enough groundwork for the background yeah. of those but things. But one second about the whole education thing. Mm-hmm. Mental health ties into a big part, but not necessarily mental health. But there's something they call it I I'm so terrible at saying this word because mm-hmm. the evil jumps out of me. <laughs> um develop a <laughs> <laughs> developmental developmental <laughs> thank you that's the word that's the word that's the developmental. word developmental yes um, they call them that disorder right yeah, okay. like autism ADHD mm. dyx- um, dyslexia yeah. and then you have students that are struggling in school because like words are literally turning upside yeah. down but they don't know how to explain it yeah. and you have teachers calling them dull you know all these insults instead of trying to find Actually. a different way to get to them yeah. and that's True. one of the main issues why like you can see like a huge you're like oh that yeah. person is not as it, smart it's, as it's, me but they're getting it's good also grades, interesting. You know? Yeah, it's also interesting what Montessori does today because there are different types of learners there are people that audiovisual people audio visual reading kinesthetic learners and yeah. all that education is not well funded in Africa that, that's not the well beginning funded of the issue it's not that, funded and so say. even the secondary school that we think they did a lot of things well for us they could have actually done better mm-hmm. done better now. because uh, Maya, yeah, with, Maya with what she had she did she yes. tried man no she did I, mean, I, I, I have a lot of love yes, for her yes. I, have to, I have to go visit well, her my, 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 we, we, we'll go together my, my, my point is my point is that for me in senior secondary of course i don't even think we should we should do that whole science commercial and art but that's it that's a that's a, that's a mm. curriculum thing no, but, no but you know what it's, it's, it's not a bad idea i think the issue is that you're forced to think about what you want to do in the future mm. early enough too early exactly right. that, that's but really but, where but the problem is but the idea is not bad because it's i don't know if you should align with your interest maybe by ss but we maybe so ss maybe ss2 or ss3 exactly we change so much because, as we grow bro you are you're 11 in ss1 12 I think, in ss1 i think i think it should be flexible Yes, yeah. that's the problem. That's, so that's really what mm-hmm. if you, if you uh, Minister of Education will we'll send you a proposal on that. But but that that really <laughs> that that really is what that's really that's what we need to look at. I don't even know who the Minister of Education is. Uh, yeah, I think he resigned because <laughs> I think he, I'm not sure who the Minister of Education is right <laughs> now. Check that, if uh, that's not like relevant to the education system, I don't know what. To yeah, tell you. Adamu Adamu, he was there for seven uh, yeah, or eight so years. I, I think he, I think he just resigned. I don't know. I feel like. Um, Nigerian parents send their kids to boarding school too early. It's a nice experience. Don't get me you. too that's early. That's another conversation. Where's the therapy? That's, 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 that's insane. insane. The that things that go on in those school. schools. My exactly. name used to bully me. No, I don't know if my wife. My was still good. My wife was, 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 was pretty decent. My wife was not bad. But my wife used to. Uh, if I tell you my nickname, you, you look say like no say. Ah, you say <laughs> bro, I had a nickname too. No, that's his nickname. It's called Babuski. I don't see. So I won't say yes, don't say right. No, no, no. I'll find out later. Should, should yeah, we say? I think pretty no, much everyone had nicknames back in school. No, I'm, my nickname was bro, Fishbone. That, since we already <laughs> saying it, but that, but that name scared me. Because I can imagine. So Eunice, you were asking because when when we were in school, they used to force us to wear stuff, and boxers weren't allowed. So we used to wear pants. And we used to wear these very short shorts, like this very, sh- sh- very, very short shorts they used to give us because long, Why? the long one was trousers was for the senior students. How um, does it distort your And so your we used uniform? to wear. It, I mean, I don't know. We used to wear pants that time, and so if you, I think I had big bum, I think I had a big bum since I was in jail. So, so the bum. pants will always enter. 
my my trousers. They used to, to call it fraps. fraps. So these silly guys, I don't know who started that. Nigga, <laughs> no, 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 bro, I, I, so I don't know if I should. If I post it on the group, the group will be, the group will be, the group will be wild for days. So this got me deep sad about fraps. <laughs> it was very bad. It was very depressing. Bro, you know, it was <laughs> very depressing. Eva, Eva, shout out to her. She's very quiet now. I'm surprised mm. she's quiet. Mm. I don't think I know if she's quiet or not. But she had, we had a song for you too. Oh, don't, don't. are you serious? I think this is the place to... I think this is the place to... It's up to, it's up to was it ever that, that composed that song? That song was just too. I remember... I remember Sit at the Bob Franz song. No, 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 if you don't sing the song, I'll make up a new one. <laughs> I'm so no, serious. You have to ask him if he's okay with me singing. No, 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 no. no. I don't... I don't, I don't I need to go to the library for that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't worry, know. after this session. So, Eva that sang that song. Eva that sang that song. That Eva, one I know. I Eva, Eva, I Eva I'm coming for you. Coming I'm coming for you. We'll but take you after this session. But the, but the truth about that is that I, I can't, I don't think that I can feel bad about it because when we were that age, we used to do a lot of stupid things. We just did so much, man. But it wasn't fun. That, that's a tough uh, time. That's yeah. emotional Actually, That's emotional intelligence. Like I'm, people I'm, scared, I'm scared for my future kids. It was, it, was it, was, it was terrible. Like I'm worried about that. I mean, this is this is a place. This this is this is a nice place to put it to put a bow on. I think we should, I don't even call it part one. Uh, it's been an interesting mm. episode. Bring we, us we, back. We yeah. here. <laughs> 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 we probably need to. Uh, we probably need to do that. Maybe we bring Mui. Is Mui still, is he in the country? He's in the country. Yeah, we yeah. have it. Yeah, we have it to bring. Him. I mean, well, I mean, the essence of Jackpot Chronicles. We really want. I mean, look at all the stories that Mui has. Mui needs, needs to be Mui, here. Mui, Mui, to, Mui, Mui has yeah. gone. I don't know if he's comfortable staying that story now. Yeah, we probably need to ask him. Uh, but 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 you know it's a good place. I mean, this is not even the episode to be talking about our business that we send students abroad and all that. No, you can put it in there. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, but it's crazy because like I feel like that's how's that. I feel like what's your, so. I feel like your overall goal in life is tied to Nigerians being Nigerians and, and help and, and us moving this country forward. Mm -hmm. So how do how do you tie that? How do you tie your business? Where's there's giving you the most money, to, which is taking kicking people out of the country. I, I, I so, think so that. Do you think they're going to come back here? Yes, yes. That, that's one thing. But you you know you said it well. There's only like home. And the moment I realized that immigration is really part of life, like people would always go. Always move around. Um, if I become a governor, I become a president. Right now, comparative education has always been a thing. Right? Comparative education simply means that you can go to Spain, Norway, um, Australia, New Zealand to learn the best of what is going on. Mm -hmm. And um, once you do that, you can bring it back to your own um, um like country to just implement so that's that's really that's really what i am mm. i'm all about i mean so yeah we've got the labor education and um, that's we focus on sending people abroad and we've also got my jack by limited responses i honestly think the citizens living in nigeria have tried like it's up it's to so those that out. have gone abroad yeah. and like gone it like yeah. the synergy to the come synergy. back it has yeah. to, that, that's the word I, will, we, if, if, I think word. we'll do that at part two because maybe start from there because when you with the things you've seen there we should be able to take the best of both sides and see, okay, how can we actually, mm -hmm. you know, because if you come back now and maybe you're a commissioner, you just feel like, oh, this is not good. This is not working in Nigeria. We just scrap it without understanding what Why it's going not through. working. Yes, uh, and that's really that. So thank you guys for listening and watching this episode. Uh, we hope to bring Maya back. Your is going back to the US very soon. I'm not school. going back. I don't have return tickets, sir. Uh... <laughs> sure. I'm sure Maya will sponsor you. <laughs> a great episode. Um, Please subscribe to our pod on all platforms. You you can watch uh, our videos on um, YouTube and Instagram. Subscribe to our Again, YouTube as well. Yes, yeah, subscribe to our YouTube as well. My name is Ola Dibupu Adebowale. I was joined here by Eunice. Um, uh, I'm, I'm the king of Jaguar. That's my new name. I, they've changed my 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 um, Instagram page from Immigration Dog to King of Jaguar. Yeah. They say when you've been doing something, you're an expert. Those like you now. No, who won't hear you for music business? And now you're Listen, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> but Maya is Maya is on sabbatical. Thanks, Yomi and Maya, for joining, and our, our gracious host, Arrowhouse Studios. <laughs>